Hello, I'm going to be playing Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, which is a free roguelike game that uh, you can download or you can just play online without having to download the game at all. That's actually what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing it through the SSH uh, command line interface. That's what you see in this little window here. This, It's the Putty client, which is a free SSH or Telnet or whatever client that you can download for Windows. Um, and uh, the reason I play via SSH is that it's just a much smoother online uh, experience. There's less lag and delay and, and hitching and stuff. I'm playing from, I, I'm in Eastern Washington State, so I'm playing on the West Coast uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup server, which is the uh, Crazy Act server, or it's often abbreviated CAO. Uh, this is just a little test character because I want to show you some stupid color tricks that I've discovered or found out about. Um, because one of the streamers I've, I've started following recently, um, Gamma Funk, who is also a developer on the game, he, uh, from his Twitch play page, he linked a, uh, a screenshot of his SSH play, and it showed, he, he even mentioned it in his description. He said it's, um, he's got... Well, he he customized his color. So what I'm the colors you see here are I found a it's on the uh, Chaos Forge wiki for crawl. They they list RGB colors that you can set in your terminal client, which I'm using Putty here, uh, to that are match the official colors that you see on the web client. So that's that's the colors that I'm running. Although this isn't quite it because I've changed something. So. It also, in your in Putty, at least, you can set, uh, for color highlighting, for bolding, you can have bold be just the font, so no color. So, like, you see where it says, Welcome back, SMB Hacks, the Minotaur Fighter, or my name in the upper right, uh, I usually say Simba Hacks, Simba Hacks, the Skirmisher Minotaur, those are in this big, bright um, yellow. So if I set it to just using font for bold, now, so it's it doesn't have the color anymore, but the text is actually bolded. It's a little hard to make out, but that is bolded font. That's my bolded console list font that I have set as a font to use. Um, if you have it set to just the color, then you get the color change for the, for the uh, bold font quote-unquote bold text, but no, the text itself is not actually bolded. And if you do both, you get both the brighter color and the thicker bold letters like that. And that's what, uh, that's what Gamma Funk showed in his screenshot. Uh, he also, his tweak colors, a lot of them are brighter themselves, so like the, the stat Labels there, health, magic, AC, EV, though he's running those in more of a brighter yellowish color themselves, um, which I think he does that. It, it helps it stand out for him. It's it, though That stuff is a little bright for me, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm not even sure I like the bolding. I mean, bolding, it does make it stand out more, the, the thing that's bold, but it is a little harder to read than the, than the regular, regular letter form. So... I don't know if it's something I would do, but I actually can't get it to work completely. The only way I can get this to work, this is kind of where the stupid trick part comes in. Um, the only way I can get it to work is with some, with by disabling the extended color support that is actually on by default now in Dungeon Crawl. Last time I showed a, uh, a setting I'm running, I was running in my setup that I thought I needed to have in there, but it turns out that's on by default now. I'll show you that in a sec. I want you to note the, uh, you see the the capital J in sort of the middle left there that's surrounded by a orange box. It's a, it's a light gray surrounded by an orange box and it's a, labeled on the right, that's an endoplasm, a wandering endoplasm. I think the wandering part means that it hasn't seen me yet. That's why it's, I think that's also shown by that, that box around it that shows they haven't seen you. Um, now pay attention to that color. That's an orange color now, right? On a, on a light gray, uh, letter. So I'm going to log out real quick here and show you my options. So, um, 
those first three are, are for things other than color, and those are those are the only three that I really need to have in now that I will be having. These other two are just ones I have in here temporarily to show you this, these color tricks. So allow extended colors I had in here before when I showed this last uh, episode that I played of this. I had allow extended colors equals true. Well, that is actually on by default now, so you don't need to have allow extended colors true in your options file. If you want to turn extended color support off, then you do need to put allow extended colors equals false, and that's colors with a, uh, uh, a U in there, the British style. Um, so I have that in here because without that, the bolding effect of the characters, the actual thickening of the letters will not happen. Uh, and then you also, oh, okay, so this is an interesting one. If you, if I comment this out, if I, so I'm basically taking out this bold brightens foreground equals true command. Um, and this was something that I think they put in just before the extended color support actually started happening, or they happen around the same time. Um, so I know I'm going to have, I'm not going to have the bold brightens foreground equals true command in there. And I still have extended colors turned off. So we'll see what that looks like. Now, the main thing you notice, or well, the main obvious thing here is that instead of a sort of grayish color for the darkened, the walls that are in areas outside of my sort of radius of light around my at symbol character, those are instead of being a, a darkish gray are now a sort of medium dark blue. And that was, um, that's kind of a hack that the game does because, uh, because of what the, what is considered too dark a color against a black background, because that gray that replaces it is actually a, what's called a, uh, ANSI color, a, a bold black, which is just a brighter black. So that, that, uh, command about bold brightens background is saying no, um, the bold will actually make the background bright enough to show. So don't replace the gray with this blue color. It's fine. Just leave it as gray. That's what, that's kind of what that command does is what I gather. So if you take that command out, then you get this. And this is actually, that's actually what you'll see if you just start, uh, dungeon crawl through a SSH client without putting in some commands to enable the extended color support. Um, so, so yeah, so, and I actually kind of liked that blue color when I first started before I knew what the, the commands to enable the enhanced color support were when that switched to the gray after I had started, you know, setting things quote unquote correctly, I kind of missed the blue. So if you kind of like that blue color, you know, it's, it's a legit way to play. Um, and I don't think you'll be missing anything major, but keep in mind, okay, so let's, let's remember that, that orange background around that endoplasm's capital J. Uh, just remember that it's orange here. So I'm going to pop out again at my options. Got to put the uh, put this back on so we get those gray backgrounds. The blue's a little distracting from everything else, I, I find, ultimately. Um, and now we will run without disabling the extended colors. So extended colors will be in action now because I've commented out the, the, the allow extended colors false that was turning them off. And so now we get the gray background again, the, the shadow wall background, or the, I shouldn't say background. We get the gray walls that are in the dark areas instead of the blue. Uh, which tones them down a bit and lets you focus your eyeballs on the area that's more around your character, uh, I think. Now, notice, though, that the other kind of difference is that the the orange that was around that endoplasm's gray J is now a bright yellow. And it actually makes the J harder to read, but it does make it jump out at you, and I think that's the idea. So that that yellow color there is just not, does not come through unless you ha have enabled the, uh, the extended color support. But the other thing you'll notice that has happened is that the, the bolding is gone. The, the 
changing of the font to a wider font, uh, wider letters is gone. Um, so it's supposed to be both a bold font and a brighter color for bolded stuff right now. But if you see like uh, Simba Hex, the Skirmisher Minotaur at the top right, that is the bolded color right now, but it was not doing the bold font. So watch if I switch it to just color, it won't look any different. Here we go. So keep your eyes on the Simba Hex, the Skirmisher Minotaur as I switch to just color, and it's the same because the bolding, the actually thickening of the characters that I was telling it to do is no longer working. I'll switch it back to doing bold, so it should be bolding and giving it the brighter color, and it did nothing, no difference. So the, the actual thicker character bolding does not work with extended color support, and I'm not sure why that is. I I've uh, I sent Gamma Funk a message asking about it, um, but then after I was Googling for this more, I found a dev chat that he was in from 2016 where he was asking, he, he first noted when this these changes were being made to the game and this extended color support was added, he was like, hey, my, my bold stuff isn't showing up anymore. I wonder why that's happening. And he didn't get an answer as to how that could be made to work with the extended color support. And that's basically the question I just asked him now five years later. So I'm not sure there is a solution to that. I think he is probably running when for to get that screenshot he shows on his Twitch page in his SSH setup. He's probably running without extended color support. Um, but in exchange, he gets the bolded text that he likes. Um, I'm not sure if I would like the bolded text, but I... I do want to be getting the the intended colors, I guess, and, and bolding the text actually makes it a little harder for me to read, I suppose. Possibly stuff that would otherwise jump out to me does not jump out quite as much. I don't know. Uh, but I guess I'll just run it this way anyway. Um, so let me clean up my options file and get all this stuff out of here. So bold brightens foreground is what was sort of used to, to change, to fix the, quote-unquote, fix the, the blue shadow wall background areas to make those the correct gray color. Um, and allow extended colors was a command initially that you had to have in there to, to allow the extended color support, but they changed that to being defaulting to, to true so you don't actually have to have it in. You you have, you have to put that command in equal to false if you want to disable it. Or, well, another way to disable it, I will show you right now. Clean my command file up. Uh, I'm going to quit this whole thing, Q, Q, and show you the other side. You have to enter two things to get the extended color support, and they are covered in the the how to play online page on the official website that I linked last time in the, in the description. Um, you can't see this stuff. You can't see this settings page when you're logged in. So I had to, I had to log all the way out. Uh, oh, and I, ch Oh no, I have to load my, so this is the default. It just says X term. Uh, that's the type of terminal string. It supports by default if you want. And, and what that means, I think, this is just hypothesis because I don't actually know how this stuff works, but I think that's basically sort of the the command language that it that it allows to uh, to have being communicated over the the network. It's it's an X term language. I, I don't know something. I have no idea. But so I'm going to load my crawl settings, and you'll see that what I had to change it to to enable extended color support is to support this type of string instead, the, an extended type, I guess, xterm-256 color. There's also a putty-256 color uh, terminal type string. Um, I've found one page that I've been looking at, or that keeps coming up in Google Hits, was saying that they found a few problems trying to use that one, or at least one little problem, using the putty dash uh, turn 256 color type string and it, and the, uh, the official dungeon crawl how to's all say to use X term. So I'm not even, even in putty itself. So I'm not sure if there's any positive that comes out of using the putty one, I'm just going to stick with X term. So anyway, 
that that's what you have to have on the putty configuration side uh, to get the extended color support working. So if you did to if you did take this part off, you would you would always have the the fat letter bolding working in the game if you wanted it because uh, because the actual extended color support would not be working in the game. It just wouldn't even if you put in the allow extended color equals true thing. It, it would not work. You need to have that dash two fifty six color thing as a as a part of the string type. So anyway, that's that's enough of the stupid color tricks. I think. Oh no, I did think of. Oh, I can show you one more. Um, let me do my ultra shortcut here. I actually tried to find a way to script this additional login to the server, but I couldn't figure out a sort of simple way to do that. Um, uh, let's. Do this so my one other stupid color trick so here we are back with full color support i've got the bright yellow around that wandering endoplasm um my other stupid and i think i don't have bolding on anyway but it wouldn't work even if i did uh the other stupid trick i have is i think if you don't allow it to send uh ansi colors and those are primarily the colors that are showing up here, the, the, these ones, which are the ones that I set to the quote-unquote official DCSS values. Um, if, you, if you turn those off, then what you get is black and white. And I think now bolding would work. Maybe, maybe I would have to go t turn off this extended color support. Uh, yeah, I guess I would, but I have seen this working with the bolding. So, so I think you can get black and white with bolding if you want. In fact, now, now I'm determined to show it. So, let's uh, let's go in here. False. I think that's the correct term. Yes, there is my there is my bolding, bolding in black and white. Uh, it would be pretty tough to play the game this way. You would be missing out on a good deal of color information, and you see the the uh, the wandering highlight square around the endoplasm isn't even visible anymore. But uh, if you were running a terminal or a monitor that could only support black and white, I guess that's what you might be seeing. Anyway, let's um, let's not have that. And here we're back to the orange and that because of I disabled the extended color support. So time to log out. Switch this back. Get this out of here. So it defaults back to true. So these are the only three commands I use, and those first two are for setting a larger uh, window for the display of the dungeon, and the uh, the third one is for turning off the red flash effect that happens in certain situations. Um, I did notice, so I've turned off the red, the red screen flash effect when I take damage and I am at uh, the low hit point warning. It'll flash by default. The whole screen would flash red. I don't like that red screen flash, so I turned that off. I did notice last time when I, spoiler, I died at the end of the last uh, episode I recorded of Dr uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. There was one flash of that that had gone by. It had just gone by, so I think I might have missed one turn where I, I had not quite realized that... Uh, I was in trouble, but I actually did kind of realize it. I think I just compulsively hit the... So anyway, I don't think having that HP warning screen flash has gotten me killed yet, but it, it probably will eventually. Anyhow. Uh, oh, I should have just killed the character. So I'm going to hit Control-Q, kill this character. This is just a test character. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go. Play Crawl, Pete. And I am again just going to unimaginatively stick with my uh, noobish, uh, cheap Minotaur fighter character. He gets to headbutt people. He can take an axe. An axe can hit multiple people around him. 
I keep saying him because the Minotaur fighter has horns. So I, uh, oh, at first I thought I was still in black and white, but no, it's just a black and white area I'm in. I guess that was spooky because the, the UI, okay, anyway. Uh, the Minotaur has horns, so I, that seems like it, it's a male all the time. I don't know. Anyway, um, oh, there's some color. That's good. Why is it not? What is this weird area I'm in, though? Why is it all gray in here? Did I screw something up? There's some color. What's happening? There's some color. What, what was that weird gray area I started in then? Why? A rock wall, whereas this is what? A stone wall. I guess that's it. It was a stone wall? Uh, that was freaking me out. Um, I, oh, there's a fountain. Now, I don't really know what to do with fountains. I found, uh, up to now, I'd, I'd found a lot of dry fountains. Flowing with, but there's no eating anymore. Maybe these used to do something back when the game had eating. Um... I don't think there's any way I could try to interact with this particularly. Maybe there's still something you can do in a fountain specific to some situation you're in or status effect or something. But I can't think of what what I would do here exactly. I don't I don't think there is anything to do here specifically. Maybe there is, but if they don't make it obvious. I mean, I can, I can stand here, I can hit V, and then sort of swipe at the fountain with my axe. So if I swipe northward at the fountain, nothing happens. I swing at nothing, so I don't know. I guess, I guess nothing is supposed to be going on. Um, that eight is a statue, a granite statue, and then we get a Ozymandias poem from Shelley. I met a traveler from an ancient land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read, which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on that pe <coughs> pedestal these words appear, My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and to spare. That's, of course, a famous line. Nothing beside remains, round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Percy Bice, Shelley... Is it Bice Shelley? I was thinking it was Blythe. I don't know. Ozymandias, 1818. Cool. I, th this game has poems in the descriptions for tons of things. It's kind of cool. What is this thing, then? A tree. There are other... So, wait. I, I kind of assumed these were trees. These are just plants. No, no poem for the plants. That's too bad. Somehow thriving even underground. That's a good note to have. A large tree. Well, it looks smaller than the plants. Uh, we do have a little tree poem. Susceptible to bolts of lightning. Especially intense sources of fire. The resulting blaze can flare up, spreading. Oh, that's cool. I like trees because they seem more resigned to the way they have to live than other things do. Willa Cather, O Pioneers, 1913. Okay. All right, well, uh, so one thing I mentioned last time was that in the first couple levels of the dungeon, you can generally get away with using auto-explore and auto-attack, just two buttons. Uh, and there is a meme about this, uh, the, the ideal keyboard for crawl being just two buttons, a, a weird keyboard of just two big buttons, O and tab, because O is your auto-explore and tab is your auto-attack. So let's do that now. So I'm going to hit O until I find monsters. Now I found three monsters right outside where I was. And I'm going to hit tab that will advance towards them and attack them. 
automatically. They're all dead now. I hit auto explore again. It picks up some things or something. Uh, it hasn't found me a monster yet. It got some money for me, it looks like. Here's a kobold. Auto attack that with tab. O, O, ball python tab. O, two jackals tab. Three jackals now. Oh, no. Oh, I, I've got a more prompt. Keep tabbing. Ah, I reached level two and I have to hit a more prompt. All right, they're, uh, they're dead. Oh, picked up some stuff. More monsters. Tab. Tab me through these guys. Oh. Keep owing. Hobgoblin. Oh. Giant cockroach. Oh. Oh. Giant cockroach. Oh. Oh. Frill blizzard. Tab finishes him off soon enough. Frill blizzard. Get me some more tabs. Tab. 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 Oh. Oh. Whoa. That was a big one. Oh, hobgoblin, tab, tab. Oh, whoa, more plants, more fountains. Oh, hobgoblin, tab. Oh, 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 got a ring. Jackal, tab, tab. Two, three jackals, tabbing, 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 tabbing. Almost dead, that jackal is. Come on, jackal, there you go, tab, tab. Oh, dart slug just threw a dart at me, missed me. Oh, no, he hit me. Tab, tab, come on, come on, tab, get him. Get him. Tab, tab. Okay. Oh. Ooh, level three now. Uh, so I don't really know what, what I should put this into. You get a point. Um, different species get their, they gain the ability to add a point to an attribute at, at different levels, I think. I think it's different species. Because I think demigods, for instance, end up getting more. Anyway, Minotaur seems to get one. I don't know if it's every three levels, but anyway, level three you do. Do I put it into strength, which is already 20? Do I put it into intelligence, which is only 5? Or do I put it into dexterity, which is 9? Um, what I should go do is read what the attributes actually do. But I'm going to put it into dex so that my dex will be a nice even 10. And you have to hit shift D, I think, if I hit lowercase. Yeah, it wants you to be sure. So there we go. My dex is now 10. I feel agile. Let me look at my character sheet if I hit question mark here no I can't hit question mark here how about hmm I guess I could just go to general help file overview starting screen att attributes and stats C strength increases your damage with melee and ranged weapons so my as a minotaur fighter I have I have a lot of strength Affects your ability to use heavy armors effectively. Okay. Intelligence. And I think it's kind of neat that this game only bother, bothers with three of the sort of the classical um, Dungeons and Dragons stats. Just strength, intelligence, and dexterity. It doesn't bother with charisma and constitution and all that. So intelligence affects your odds of successfully casting spells and how powerful those spells are. Now, I'm not planning on casting spells, so in theory, I don't need intelligence, and that's why it's at this tiny value of five. Um, but of course I can, I can find spells in spell books that I just come across in the dungeon. Um, the ones I have found it with other Minotaur characters, I've been almost completely unable to have any chance of casting. And I think that's because of my low intelligence. I'm not sure, but I think Dexterity. So if I raised my, if I pumped a lot of points into intelligence, I could probably cast a few simple spells, but is that worth it at this point? Probably not. Dexterity. Increases your accuracy with melee and ranged weapons. So that's accuracy. Strength is damage. Significantly affects your ability to dodge attacks aimed at you. Your general effective with effectiveness with shields. Oh. Your stealth and your effectiveness when stabbing unaware enemies. So the dodging... And uh, a accuracy with weapons and effectiveness with shields sounds really good for my just silly fighter character anyway. So I don't think it's a waste to put points into dexterity, certainly. But I don't actually know. Uh, let's continue with our tabbing and owing. Oh, there's a bat. Tab it. Tab. Oh, 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 I'm done. So just to make sure that my auto explorer did not miss any good loot... 
Gonna hit Control F, search for period, which will show us everything. Wow, not much. Not it didn't leave a whole lot behind. We left a dagger, thirteen stones. I want those stones because if I get a sling, I can I can use the sling. I can use those as missiles. You can actually just throw them even if you don't have a sling. But I have not been able to do much damage with just throwing a stone with my hand. Um, there's an altar, but I am ignoring religion because I don't want anybody telling me what to do. A shaft, I think that's just a way to get down to the next level. And there's bolts, I want those bolts. So I'm gonna hit H to travel to the bolts. Here's my map. Uh, it has highlighted the bolts, I think, to somewhere. Maybe that thing on the right, yeah. So get the bolts. Now let's control F again. Get the stones, G. This is showing my map screen. It's showing the course I would take to get back to the other end of the map to get those bolts or those stones. Let's get those. Um, another thing, this game seems to have streamlined straight out from as compared with another roguelike like Angban, for instance. Is I don't think there's any encumbrance. You have your inventory, but it doesn't show any type of weight for items. I'm like I'm wearing scale mail, but. Uh, there's an encumbrance rating, but there's no actual weight. So there is no, there's no weight in this game. You don't get weighed down by inventory, which is really interesting. They just, they just don't bother with it, which I, I think is nice. It is kind of a pain. Uh, did I get the stones? I got the stones. What else is left? There's one other thing I wanted to check. I guess that was just a shaft. I think I know what this is. Back to that other spot, pretty much. A shaft. I think that probably just drops you down to the next level. Oh, it's a trap. The carrot sign is usually a trap. And this game is interesting. It doesn't have a disarm trap command, as far as I've been able to find. So if you find a trap, um, you just... Uh, sometimes they're useful. For instance... If I wanted to, if I needed an escape route, a shaft might come in handy. Although monsters in this game can follow you. Well, they can follow you up and down stairs. Maybe they couldn't follow you down a shaft. Maybe that would be the whole point. Maybe they would not want to follow you down a shaft. So this would be an actual escape as compared to a stairway where they will follow you. So let me try taking the shaft. Oh, I couldn't take it. Oh, wait, well, let me hit the down staircase button. Yeah, so I could so it doesn't drop you. So it, it isn't much of a trap. It is just a an escape route basically. I do wonder if Oh yeah, and it crumbles and collapses behind me. So I they, I that would be a good escape route. Monsters would not be able to follow me down there, I think. That's cool. Uh there's another trap type I found which is a teleport trap, which of course if you step into that it teleports you to uh, some kind of random spot distant in the in the same level on the same floor um which again would be another potential escape from combat so so the traps in this game are actually more like tools that may come in handy um in certain situations for you there may be others that are, are just bad uh, for you i don't know you see now on, on my stat uh section in the upper right at the bottom of the orange text stuff it says throw so i can throw these third stones I think it's is it just with T T or F um, or shift tab if I wanted to do auto attack with a missile weapon F what does T do does T do anything T tells oh T is a shout yeah that's kind of weird uh, so F would I wonder if there's an auto Fire thought uh well I could do like shift tab, that'll auto fire, yeah. <laughs> my so my stone is sitting up north past the frill lizard because it just missed. I killed him with a stone. Well, so I can do some damage, at least to relatively weak characters. Let's stone that goblin. He disappeared. That was weird. 
No way to turn. There he is. I guess he stepped into the shadow. Heavily wounded. Uh, can I can I hit him at at point blank range with? It's letting me throw the stones. That hobgoblin is surrounded by the the square effect, so that means it doesn't see me yet. I am throwing the stones. I missed. Missed. There, I got him. Oh no, that was a headbutt. So yeah, throwing at point blank range didn't seem to be working. I'm not sure if that was just bad luck or if that's actually a, you know, you get a, a minus to, to hit at close range by throwing stuff, which would make sense. All right, let me pick up my, well, I, okay, I wonder if auto pickup, auto navigate will get these. So I'm on Dungeon Gym. Let's do the, the uh, auto explore, auto attack thing. See how good that is at clearing this level. Auto explore, ring of fire. Okay. Oh well, I didn't actually check what I found. What? Because it picks stuff up for you. It, it's picked up all these scrolls for me off the first level. It picked up a a ring on the first level. Ring of flight. That's actually handy. You can you can get over like lava and stuff with a ring of flight. As far as I understand it, I have not actually tried that. Um, the potion of might I started with, I think. Uh, all right, let's go explore. 18 arrows, okay. I hope it picks those up. It doesn't look like it did. Yeah, it didn't pick up the bolts or stones either, so I'm going to have to go back for those. Um, it stops when it finds a, a stairway. Found a hunting sling. Is it going to pick that up? Hopefully it'll auto pick. Uh, is that the thing up left, that cyan right parenthesis, maybe? Or is it the lower one, the, the brown right parenthesis? Uh, anyway, maybe he'll pick it up for me. Let's just keep going with Auto Explorer. A uh, pair of gloves. That must be that blue right square bracket. Down guys. Come on. Come on. Where's the monsters? There we go. Tab. Oh, I think I just picked up some stuff. Stones. Uh, giant cockroach. Tab, tab, tab. So we moved up from cockroach to giant cockroaches, didn't we? It's dead. Oh, got some gnolls. Gnolls can be a little tough. They, they like to have spears. Oh, these ones just have clubs and whips, though. Tabbing these babies. Here's a bat. Gonna tab the bat as well. The the axe that I am swinging will hit multiple enemies at once that are right next to me. Reach level four. Auto explore. Auto explore, the default setting also um, will heal, wait for you to heal before moving again. So you saw my health fill up there while it waited. Uh, auto explorer, auto explorer, got a potion. Here's a kobold. Tab, 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 tab. It's dead. Auto explorer, auto explorer. Come on, bat. Tab, 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 tab. When when you are in range of a monster, here's a reference. So if I hit auto explorer now, it won't go. It will not auto explore while a monster is around. Which I guess makes it easier to do this tab and O thing. Uh, likewise, the auto combat will not work. Well, I guess that's just when there's no nobody to combat. Ball python, okay, tab, tab, tab. Auto explore, there's an endoplasm, tab, tab, tab. Oh, and a ball python, tab, tab, that, tab, tab. Oh, more prompt, okay, okay, well, I got frozen, but everything's fine. Auto explore, lumpy cyan potion, stone staircase. Hub goblin, tab, 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 O. Oh. Oh, giant cockroach, tab, tab. Oh, oh, oh. And we're done. What did I leave behind? Control F period to search. Pair of gloves, I, looks like more than one. You can, you can unfilter the list with equal sign, which by default screens out duplicates. So I'm gonna wanna get the gloves, I think. I don't think I have gloves. Gonna want to get the arrows in the sling. So let's go to A. Get up there, get the gloves. Go to, uh, oh, see now it, it shows the other pair of gloves because that's the only one that's still laying around, but I don't need those. I need the, I don't need, but I want the arrows, G. Get over there, get the arrows. And there's probably auto pickup things I could change. 
wonder. You might be able to do with commands in your RC file. I don't know. Did I get those arrows? I did. Control F one more time because there was also the sling. Gee, that'll help with the stones. Let's get that. All right. It's a hunting sling. It's not just. Is there a regular sling even? I don't know. All right. What do we got here? Let's. Uh, okay. So here's where you hit equal sign. Hit was for adjust. Adjust items. I select the hunting sling, which is currently S. Adjust to what letter? I say B. So now it's on B. This is kind of like inscribing in, in other roguelikes, which I think you can also do in this. Um, so now the hunting sling will be selected with the letter B. The main reason you I do that is because now when I hit apostrophe, the key apostrophe, it will tab or toggle between my A weapon, which is the war axe, and my B weapon, which is the hunting sling. So while I can throw stones with the F key with my war axe out, if I switch to the hunting sling, then I can actually fire the stones from my sling and they'll be much more effective. <laughs> um, so that's all set. I should equip these rings, I suppose. I might as well be flying all the time, I guess. Oh, I should equip the gloves as well. Uh, Q, adjust, or wear with W. Um, in flight. See, and it doesn't tell you here. This is a little inconvenient. It doesn't tell you what flight does, but you, uh, what do I end up doing? Question mark, slash for lookup description, then um, I think I look by status, so T, and then fly? Yeah, describe what? Fly, lava, sap, or water? Fly. fly. The fly status means you were flying above the ground and able to cross water and lava or fight above shallow water without penalties. Most types of flight will time out. Be careful what you're above when that happens. I don't think it'll fly out with my ring. I hope. So, um... Anyway, let's let's shift W where the oh no yeah jewelry is a separate key it's it's silly uh, P shift P jeez but you can like I was doing you could just go to your inventory with I then select the ring with again I for the ring and then say put on with P that's one of them ring of fire ring of fire. Brings its wear more in contact with the powers of fire, grants resistance to heat, and enhances fire magic, but causes co vulnerability to cold. Vulnerability to cold. Um, resistance to heat enhances fire magic. Well, I'm not using fire magic, so all I'm really getting out of this is fire resistance and cold negative resistance, cold vulnerability. That, I don't see much point in that. I'm just going to drop that. Uh, so there is an inscribe system as well as the 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 thing where you just change the actual letter that selects them. Um, and the inscribe systems in roguelikes, let me go back to something I could inscribe potentially. Uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty. It's kind of like adding code to items that will, and you can have it do all kinds of stuff uh, automatically. Basically, when when the game finds an item inscribed with certain uh, arcane symbols and, and letters, it'll do different stuff to it. I think you can have it like auto ignore the item or auto drop the item or auto who knows what with you. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not nowhere near that level of, of doing stuff. Um, and I did auto export everything. Yeah. And I did pick up everything I wanted, and I'm wearing the gloves. I think I'm going to read these scrolls. Scroll of brand weapon. Brand which weapon? Well, if I brand my war axe, your war axe acquires a faint after image, a plus zero spectral war axe. Is that good? The weapon spirit leaps out and strikes again. The spirit shares a part of any damage it takes 
with its wielder. Any damage it takes? So the spirit could get hurt? Well, I've never had that before. That'll be interesting. It sounds like I get double attacks, kind of, but could get a second hit on me through the specter? Funky. And yeah, there's my fly status while I have this ring of flying on. Oh, let's read another scroll. Ah, uh, who did the Sipu? Read that. A word of immense power was a scroll of holy word. What more do we know about scrolls of holy word? Car calls on the good gods to cause great damage to any nearby undead or demonic creature, inc possibly including the reader. I am not. My minotaur is not undead or demonic yet. All right, let's read this. Uh, whatever. I got three of them. Uh, disposable arcane. Oh, no. Um, read. Scroll of identify. Oh, good. Now it'll ask me to identify one of the other scrolls without having to destroy it. Scroll of enchant armor. Mm. I think I'm going to save that until we at least find some plate armor. But uh, let's read another scroll of identify and identify this last unidentified scroll. Scroll of noise. That doesn't sound... And you see it's in red, so that implies that it is not a good item. Not an advantageous item. A prank scroll that creates a loud noise. Well, read it. I don't care. I mean, potentially that would have a use to attract monsters if you wanted to 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 drag them over to your location. I don't want to carry it around. Oh, you really have to confirm, huh? So you see that noise meter in the upper right. It's currently got all those red dashes next to it. That means we have maxed out. The, that is the loudest possible sound. You hear a loud clanging sound. That's the loudest possible sound you could have made. And if there had been any monsters, probably on this entire floor, they would have uh, heard that and come running, maybe. If they w could hear and could run. Uh, well, so I think that's all we have to do here. So I got some useful scrolls and some... Oh, I don't know what those potions are. Now, oh, I should... Let me use an identify scroll on a potion because... Uh, what am I doing? Read scroll identify G on a fuming inky potion. Why not? Potion of lignification. Those... Uh, transform, yeah, it turns you into an animated tree. Your AC would be 22. I, I don't know what it is now, but that's probably more than it is. Uh, minimal evasion, but increased health and natural armor, resistant to poison and immune to torment. It is rooted in place, so you can't move. So that's like if you're, probably if you're just pinned down and taking a beating, you could do that and hope that would help you survive. It does reduce your evasion, though, so, I mean, who knows? I guess I'll keep it. I, I've tended to think of those as not anything I would really ever use, but uh, so it, would, it would increase my, it would, my AC would be 22, so that would increase it by 14 over what it is now. Uh, am I out of scrolls of identify? I am. I had been just, you know, chugging potions uh, to identify them, but in a in a little test session I was running getting things configured um last week or so I uh I chugged a potion and it gave me mutations and one of them wasn't so hot I forget what the mutations were it was a potion of mutation or whatever they're called um now mutations can be things like for instance the horns that minotaurs have you can get those by a mutation and if you drank a potion of mutation but I think the way they work is something like they a potion of mutation, it was something like it It gives you one to four, I think it was one to four negative mutations, one to three positive mutations. Or no, uh, how that, oh no, it gives you one to four mutations. They could be either good or bad. It removes one to three mutations and then it gives you a good mutation. Either that or it's that it gives you one to three, removes one to four, and gives you a good mutation. So you'll always get a good mutation out of it, but you do have a chance of getting 
not so great mutations. Um, I guess there used to be a, a potion or something of, of remove mutation or some way to get rid of mutations, but now the idea is that if you get a mutation you don't like, you just drink another potion of mutation and, it, and there, it'll probably get removed. Um, and you just drink potions of mutation until you end up with a set of mutations you're okay with, I guess. Uh, there may be some way to get all mutations. Actually, there is. There's a god. I think there's a god that you can worship, and um, that god at some point will will uh, allow your mutations to get removed, I think. I don't know. Was that Zin, maybe? Maybe I could look that up. I could try to look uh uh, look up slash uh, god g zin z uh, yeah zin will cleanse your potions of mutation oh cleanse your potions so I wonder if that means it will make it so they only give good mutations or maybe that just that they only that they only remove me let me do powers maybe if I toggle the powers uh Followers, followers will be protected from mutation, it says. So maybe that means that if you picked up a potion of mutation, he would just change it to a potion of healing or something. But then you wouldn't be able to remove mutations you'd already had, so maybe he makes it so that if you drank a potion of mutation, it will only remove mutations. Anyway, you have to be a follower of the God's Inn for that that to happen. All right, well, so anyway, I don't really want to do the mutation thing unless maybe I felt like it and I had a bunch of mutation potions so that I could have a chance of removing ones I didn't like. So I don't want to just chug unidentified potions. So I'm not going to chug those, the sedimented brown potion and the lumpy cyan potion when, when they're only identified by color and I guess texture like that, that means that they have not, you don't know what they are. Um, an unlabeled flask containing a single dose of an unknown liquid. Oh, we get a Romeo and Juliet Shakespeare quote. Then gave I her, so tutored by my art, a sleeping potion, which so took effect as I intended, for it wrought on her the form of death. Meantime I writ to Romeo that he should hither come as this dire night, to help to take her from her borrowed grave, being the time the potion's force should cease. Gotta love Shakespeare, man. But is that the same quote for every potion? Let's check the potion of might. Oh, potion of might doesn't get a po uh, quote. How about lignification? That's a different one. Ovid's metamorphoses. That's good. Oh, that's real good. All right. Well, people, the, the developers have obviously had fun with the quotes. So I've cleared out Dungeon 2 using the, the two-button method of tab and O. Uh, I'm going to go to my map with shift X. I'm going to hit the right pointy bracket key to find the nearest staircase, which was just to my left. I probably could have seen it if I had bothered looking. Hit enter to travel there and take the stairs down with pointy right bracket. Again, the sound of rushing water. Uh oh, well, I'm, I'm on floor of dungeon three. There's a bat. So I'm not going to use the, uh, the auto explore here, uh, at least not all, all the time. Wow, that bat was fast. It already moved up and hit me. Oh, so there's my. Whoa, this is going to be weird, man. Okay, that's the wrong key. X. Spectral. So it summons a spectral war axe, summoned a friendly. A spirit drawn from a weapon. It never strikes on its own. Damage done to it will be partially mirrored on, onto the caster. Enchanted to dance through the air and attack on its own power. It has about 25 HP. Infinite will. Immune to poison, negative energy, and torment. Resistant to electricity, fire, and cold. Extremely fast. It can fly. So can I. With the ring. Cannot regenerate. Looks like it hits for pretty good damage. Wonder how long it lasts. I mean, I... It'll probably just generate another one if it needs to, I guess. I don't know. Well, we still have a bat to deal with, so what if I just wait and see what the Spectral War Axe does? Get a Maxi. No. The 
the bat hits me but does no damage. Oh, so I just headbutted it. So, and it looks like the war axe just, or the spectral axe just vanished in a cloud of smoke. Clouds of this kind of adventure makes will vanish quickly once outside their sight. Hmm. All right, well, still, uh, we still have to figure out exactly how that's going to work. Oh, there's Frilled Lizard. And it summoned another Spectral War Axe. The wizard's already dead. My, and the, the Spectral War Axe immediately disappears. Whoa, what happened to the... The Spectral Weapon shares its damage with you. So wait, do, when it hits things, do I take damage? Because if that's the case, I don't want that. Nothing hit the Spectral War Axe, I don't think. The Spectral War Axe hit the Adder. The Adder's wounded. Hang on. Um, the Spectral War Axe hit the Frilled Lizard before I didn't notice that. And because I completely missed it. So it was the Spectral War Axe that killed it. I didn't take any damage then. Then we come up to this goblin and adder. Spectral War Axe hits the adder. The adder misses. The adder tried to hit the Spectral War Axe. Goblin shoots a stone. The stone missed me. Oh, the adder hit the Spectral War Axe. So I took damage. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can understand that. Of course. Okay. Um... That's that's all right. I mean, I don't like this adder biting it, and my 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 team. Let's kill this adder. The adder's dead. The goblin's still shooting stones. The goblin is being smart and hanging back. The the spectral war axe vanished, leaving little puffs of smoke moving around. So I hit the goblin, and I did not summon any war axe. I guess because it knew. The thing I hit was immediately gone. A hunting sling, that's what I already got. Scroll. I think I can read a scroll off the ground. Yeah, I didn't have to pick it up. Just hit R, and it's there in my list. Scroll of enchant weapon. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, uh, I guess I'll enchant my spectral war axe. Um, those seem to be pretty common. I, I seem to find those pretty fast. Now wait, that's another trap. What kind of trap do we have here? A dispersal trap. I'm not sure what that would do. It didn't seem to want to give me a description. Oh, if this is a drain to the sewer, mm, the sewer place kind of sucks. It's got this really annoying color-coded potion that's hard to see. Um, I work with a war axe. A war axe? Oh, that's what I have. But I have a plus one spectral war axe. And I have a summoned plus one spectral war Well, so my summoned war axe, <laughs> the spectral war axe, is now plus one as well. Sweet. I swap places as it dissolved. Ring mail. I think I... It's funny because I start... The Minotaur fighter starts with scale mail, which is... And I always find ring mail. But the scale mail is... Better than the ring mail. Yeah, it's one better. But that's how it always goes. It's weird. Scroll of identify. Did I have anything left to I do? Got these potions. Potion of flight. Well, there's a lot of flying going on already. I wonder if that ring of flight is just adding to my base evasion right now. My evasion's at nine. My AC is only eight. Just dissolving these goblins. Wand of flame. Hey. That sounds good. Throws little puffs of flame. Well, that doesn't sound damage 2d5. Mm hmm. I could set trees on fire, presumably. The slow rusting of a drain. Can you really hear a, a rusting? I got pretty keen ears, I guess.
<clears throat> well, here's an altar of Zin. I could I could join up and at some point at least get that uh, mutation clean, potion of mutation cleansing thing going on. Uh, I got an endoplasm. Endoplasm's dead. Goblin's dead. Plus one dagger of electrocution. I guess that's cool if you are into daggers. Little ring of statues around the altar of Zen. And then some plants. Are they kind of plant? They're not green. Oh, it's a fungus. Oh, that's weird. Zen into fungi? We got a knoll, we got a kobold, we got a ball python. This knoll has a polearm. Oh, so I didn't aim at the fungus, but I slashed uh, east or west with my axe, but the axe hits everything around it, so I hit... Uh, I hit a couple fungi, a couple funguses, <clears throat> and they're dying. Sorry, funguses. I hope Zin doesn't get mad at me for killing his carefully landscaped fungi. Fun fungi. I'm confusing myself now. There's my summon spectral axe. Are you gonna do something, summon spectral axe? Yeah, hit the. F oh no, it's attacking the fun. Is it purposely attacking the fungus? Why would you do that? Don't do that. Is it going to mow down all the fungi? Do they? Does it think they're enemies? Oh, well, no, no, it's gone. Okay. I was a little worried there. Is it just, I mean, could you use it to mow the lawn? My spectral axe? Plus one spectral axe? Will it mow the lawn for me? Uh, Oh, interesting. In this game, they do say plus one war axe. They don't say war axe plus one. I was in a in a Discord discussion on the Infra Arcana Discord with the uh, designer there who was thinking of having the name convention be... It would be like war axe plus one. And I, I said I kind of preferred it plus one war axe, although I, then I looked it up because I was thinking maybe that's how it was in D&D. &D. And no, D&D &D had it... Uh, weapon type, and then bonus after that. So it would have been War Axe plus one in D and D. But I pr maybe I got it from Dungeon Crawl here because Dungeon Crawl has the the bonus first. Um, oh, the Knoll hit my War Axe. They're all attacking my Spectral War Axe. It's like they they're disrespecting me. They fear the Spectre more than me. I guess that's all right. I I wonder if it passes 100% of the damage to me. I took four points of damage. I don't know. Right, we got some Python. We got a bunch of gnolls. Well, two gnolls. Got a rat. This rat's... Uh, well, the Spectral War Axe is going to town. Hitting more fungi again. This is kind of cool, though. I got headbutts. I got Spectral War Axes. I got all kinds of... War friends. Got my axe skill up. Oh no, killing more fungi. Spear, spear, spear. Robe. Um, you can wear a cloak, but I think if I tried to wear a robe, it would replace my my armor. So that looks like the sewer entrance. I've been through that in a previous game, and I didn't much like it. Uh, oh, that's interesting. I, was, I accidentally ran into the fungi and hit a fungi, and the spectral war axe popped out. Um, oh, yeah, I can fly over water now, so this will be a lot easier. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Uh, yeah, sewer... So there's this maze here, if it's like the other one I did. There's a shop down here. Or wait, maybe that's just a to another sewer area. Oh, I see. But yeah, this will be a lot easier now. Like, I could fly over these water, this water and these river rats. Oh, maybe river rats. Maybe they won't be having... Uh, disadvantage in water. I guess they, you would think they wouldn't. I was thinking I could fly over the water and then they would be fighting from water and have some kind of negative 
but uh, they're water rats, so they, they probably are just fine. Level five. Oh, that was my axe. I keep forgetting the spectral axe is the, the green left parentheses. More river. Oh, well, these snakes might be. Ah, the snakes are probably fine with the swamp water, too. Oh, and actually, since I'm killing things in water, I wonder if that means they would not drop treasure. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I just lost out on potential treasure. But it does make navigation of this area much easier. What do we got here? Oh, I keep hitting V because V is how you look around in, in for Arcana, I think. Gate leading back out. Let you return once you came, but what... Isn't ah uh, not V. Nowhere in particular, but that's the one I came through. So where would that other one go? Maybe these guys don't drop treasure anyway. Get him spectral war axe. Good job. Whoops, that was sloppy. Wow, I just killed them both with a single slash. I got poisoned. Poison this game. The poison killed me last time. I, I took a lot of poison hits and I just sort of blithely ignored them and kept swinging and, uh, and then kept going and didn't bother waiting for the poison to wear off. And then I got more snakes on me. And I died um, from massive poison, I think. So I think poison actually... Uh, oops, percentage sign, uh, actually stacks, so yeah, it does, so right now I'm mildly poisoned, 38 to 36, I think that means my health is going to go down from 38 to 36 in the next turn, um, uh, in another game I noticed once I was fatally poisoned, and I did die, and I think that fatally poisoned means, uh, you know, I was about to go to negative hit points because of poison, but yeah, the, the, the poisoned status can change, so it'll say, it might say, I don't know what the other states are, but probably something like, you know, horribly poisoned or something. So one bite, I'm only mildly poisoned. Right here's two bites, I don't know. Um, so I should just be able to sleep this off. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy, A gang of kobolds with missile weapons. Well, Spectral Axe, where are you? Oh, is it because I'm in a doorway? No, there it is. Poison Dart, come on. You jerks messing with poison. Level six. Uh, let's put in this strength this time. Uh, strength 21, no longer poison, that's good. Poison Darts, uh, see, I don't want to mess with poison. Poison's gross. Two scrolls of enchant. Oh, I got one. So a scroll of enchant armor. That's cool. Glowing purple potion. Three scrolls that I don't know what they do. So I guess that means I'm auto. Yeah. So it signs them a, a, a letter in my inventory. So that means I'm automatically picking them up. Pink potion. Two glowing purple potions. All this stuff to identify now. Um, viscous pink potions. And I'm all out of Identify Potions. I have two Scroll of Enchant Armor. That's good. But I'm waiting until I get better armor. Three Scrolls labeled Fugjajoy. Which turns out to be a Scroll of Immolation. Tell me about a Scroll of Immolation. Fills the creatures around the reader with an unstable and powerful inner flame. Uh, does it hurt them? I hope it hurts them. Well, I'm going to assume it hurts them and keep it. I can just fly over this dirty swamp water. I mean, what is this stuff? I keep hitting V. Uh, deep water. Pool of deep water. Only giant creatures can wade through this. Only those well adapted to water can swim through it. For the rest, the only way it's through is to fly over. That's what I'm doing. Pretty sweet having a ring of flight. Ooh, look at where I got to. What's over here? Oh, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Nothing down here. I, I did all this. I found a scroll of noise somewhere. Uh, 
Well, that's, uh, that's a little disappointing. I thought it was being cool. More kobolds. Do they have darts? I don't know. No. Potion of might. Scroll of noise. No thanks. More rats. No loot. Another rat. There is something over there. Oh, is that just a corpse? Yeah, it's a ball python skeleton. That rat is... I guess they're trying to follow me. Lots of rats. Kobolds. Got some stones. War axe. Scroll of Identify. That's good. Um, read that while oh, my spectral war axe guards the doorway. Uh, scroll of Identify. Two glowing lumpy purple potions. Glowing purple potions. Let's see what those are. Potions of magic. Valuable potion that grants... Which grant? Should that be that? Uh... Which grants an infusion of magical energy. So I guess that just gives you mana points, basically. I have five magic points as it is now, which is not many. And I can't... I don't know any spells anyway. And even if I did, I don't think I would be smart enough to cast them. So I could probably drop those. Jeez, more potions. More potions of magic. Oh, no, that's... Yes? No, I don't know. Man, axes, good for good for crowd control. Got some stones. Dagger, plus two dagger of flaming. Well, I guess that's probably cool if you're into daggers. Scroll of identify. Viscous pink potion. Potion of might. Whoop. Rat snuck in here. Silvery potion. Another potion of magic. Pink potions. Man, these kobolds are loaded with potions. What do we got here? <laughs> Look at all these potions I have now. No, uh, no more identification scrolls. Uh, well, I guess the only place to go is that other entrance, so that's what that's for. Oh, I didn't even see that poor rat. All right, in we go. Whoa, no, that was not, so that wasn't the same. It collapsed. So I guess it was just there to give you some potions. Um, the one I went into before, it had this sort of maze you had to navigate through a swamp. And then I, I got this condenser vein thing. Actually, maybe I can look that up. Vein. Oh, no. Slash. Um, item. Item. Vein. No, not Vabe. I can't type with my VI keys shifting me over. Vein. A condenser vein. Magical device that condenses ambient energy into various destructive clouds. These clouds form around hostile monsters near the user. So it's basically a, a wand of poisonous poison gas, I guess. So there's an there's a skill that makes you better with wands or whatever. Hmm. Highest tier of power, storm clouds, acidic fog, and clouds of negative energy. Well, that is kind of a cool device, I guess. They recharge. One kind of a single use and has to recharge. Well, so this this swamp did not end in an artifact such as that. It just got me a bunch of bunch of potions and a few scrolls. All right. Oops, I'm over there. Um, well, I guess that's a dead end down here. Now, Auto Explorer would cruise me through that much faster, of course, than my VI key stumbling manages. Oh, those poor suckers just died immediately. Robe. Give me a cloak. Holding shift to run a little. Oh, you can't shift run when there's a monster? 
Hmm. Two stairways down right next to each other. Sling bullets. Some gold. So this is where I came in. If we go north a little from here. Arrows. And that's probably it. Auto explore. Did I miss anywhere? Hit O. Dagger electrocution. Done exploring. Uh, control F, period. Uh, nope. I guess that's about it. Oh, no, there's some sling bullets that I missed. L, let's go there. Get those. Now, my sling should be... Hmm. How do I make it use the sling bullets? There's probably a clever way to do it. Oh, okay, so I select them. If I hit quiver. No, that didn't do it. Sling bullets. Quiver. I keep saying I feel a Bond with my spectral war axe. Um, oh, I unquivered. Oh, I see. Maybe I have to be on this thing, on my sling, and then do the quiver thing? Come on. Uh, uh, sling bullets, quiver. There we go. And then, oh, so, well, that's actually handy. So now I, I throw stones and I I sling. Oh, no, it switched back. Why did, why the heck did that happen? Am I going crazy? Let's try this again. V, quiver. Okay. But then 100 stones is over on the right. What the heck does that mean? When I switch, it goes back to firing stones. What the? Shift Q, quiver which action, stones. So I can't quiver the sling stones. Maybe just with my axe. What if I toggle here, then shift Q? Yeah, then I can, the sling bullets. So now it's not screwed up. There we go. Well, I think that's a bug. <clears throat> um, so let me see. So let me, uh, let me quiver, set this back to where it was, quiver the stones. I have stones on my axe and my sling. If I have the sling selected and I s go through inventory and select the sling bullets, V, and then I hit quiver here, it looks like they're equipped to fire, but 100 stones is in parentheses to the right, which is weird, way off to the right. Then if I toggle with apostrophe to my main weapon and back, my sling is back to 100 stones. I think that's a bug. It seems pretty weird anyway. Maybe there's some use for that? Uh, but if so, I don't know what. I'm gonna... Take a screenshot. So I remember. Uh, look, the Ikes have led me astray. All right. 
I'll see if I can find that it listed as a bug anywhere. But if I do, if I do uh, shift Q and then quiver this way, sling bullets B, then I can toggle and they stay. Yeah, that seems like a bug. That was it here, right? Okay. Shift X. Point to that's right there. And down we go. Hiss of flowing sand. Well, I wonder what that means. Entry entrance to the ossuary. What the heck is an ossuary? Hurry and find it before the portal is buried. So there's a timer. Oh, I think that happened. Something like that happened with that other uh, sewer I was in that other time. I think like the water was rising or something. So I guess I should try to find the portal to the ossuary and not waste time. Oh, no. I don't want adders to bite me in the back, of course. I mean, in theory, the fastest, most efficient way to do it would be with Auto Explorer. I don't want to get myself in trouble. Well, see, here I found some spells, but if I look at my spell book, oh, Shift M, uh, oh, they only have <laughs> Sandblast only has an 80% failure rate. Memorize Sandblast? Sure, why not? That's exciting. I finished memorizing it. That probably wasted some time. Spell assigned to A. Not good enough to have a special bit. Oh, uh. So then if I. How do you cast a spell exactly? Cast spell with Z. Safe. 80% risk of failure. No. Well, Maybe we can try that sometime. There's an orc. Yeah, three orcs. Whoa, well, they got taken out real fast. Trident. Leather armor. Wait a second. I didn't find the ossuary, did I? Uh, control F, period. No ossuary. Just use tab. Oh, it's a scorpion. I don't care. Uh, scorpion's dead. Endoplasma's dead. Keep going. We got an orc. Dead. Quaka. Dead. I hear the hiss of a very distinct avalanche of sand, so maybe I'm close. But as you open the door, it creaks loudly. I don't think that's related. Um, hmm, well, there was... Stone staircase leading down. But what? Escape hatch. The very brisk hiss of a the brisk hiss of a very distant avalanche of sand. Well, that's just normal. But when I was was it near this escape hatch? Not sure. I think it would be more obvious. I mean, that maybe if I, every time I come close to that hatch, there's a s message? No? Well, I just missed two messages. Was that just as I was leaving the... 
I think it might be that escape hatch there. I'm done exploring, so that was all I found. Boy, not much going on on this level. Chain mail. I wonder if that's better than... Uh, it's right down there anyway. My AC would increase by three. All right, we'll get it. Shift W, wear the chain mail. D, drop the scale mail. All right, well, that was a very tiny, tiny level. Dungeon, dungeon floor three was... Well, I guess this escape hatch seems a little suspicious. Bombs away. No, I'm still in, I'm just in dungeon five. Wanda paralysis, cool. Why was it already identified? Prince Ribbit. Uh-oh. Prince Ribbit's on my case. Oh, that's not right. Frog of unusual size, a tiny crown perched incongruously atop his head. Why is that incongruous? 39 HP, that's pretty buff. High evasion. Cold-blooded. Fast, swims extremely quickly. Hit for up to 20 damage. Well, that's pretty good. I don't want to take too many 20 damage hits. That's up to, of course. He can blink, so he'll probably teleport a little ways away to try to escape if I start messing him up. Well, it doesn't sound too bad. He's very fast, so he'll probably be on top of me before I could switch to my sling and hit him with a stone. I like my numbers there. Health 55, magic 55. 55 out of 55, 5 out of 5. Well, I think I can take Prince Rivet. I do have... Hello. Um, various wands I could... Per paralysis him. Paralyze would be the correct word. Render a creature immobile and capable of moving any of its limbs. I could do that if he starts giving me trouble. I guess I could read a scroll of identify while I wait, if that only takes a turn. I don't know how long it takes. Let's try it. Oh, let's do the two pink potions since I have two. He blinked. He blinked over there. Why did he do that? Potions of haste. Those are probably handy. Well, now I am going to... He's just blinking everywhere. Well, you're still going to, I hope, get hit by a sling bullet. Um, tab. Bonk. Missed. He didn't blink, though. There he blinked. I got him, though. Missed. He just blinked twice. Got him again. This, this is a weird prince. Oh, here he is. So if I switch, is this going to take a turn if I switch back to my axe? It did take a turn. He hit me. Did uh, 10 points of damage. That's not too shabby. I missed. Spectral War Axe missed. He hit me but did no damage. That's good. And I regained one. And he's dead. Wow. I know with a headbutt. The spectral axe missed. I missed. No, no, he missed me. Oh, I did slash him. I hit him with the axe. Missed with a headbutt. Then I re... I don't know. Anyway, he's dead. Level seven. He didn't drop any loot? Wow. That's too bad. I guess I got to pick up all my sling bullets. So, I I need to find a stairway back up because I don't want those. Um, oh, here it is. Or is that? No, that's a different one. But this is, yeah, so there's still... 
Oh. What the? Well, that took me to an entirely different spot of the level. What the heck was that all about? Why is it red? You can view the location it leads to by examining it with X and pressing. Wait. A stone staircase leading down, a staircase leading further down. What does that mean? Let's bring up the map like it suggested. Shift X, then hit right square bracket. No, hit, uh, shoot. Shift X. Um, examine the next higher or lower level, so not shift. So, how was that supposed to work? View the location leads you by examining with X and pressing. With shift X, V. Now press bracket, now press bracket. Oh yeah, there it is. So I highlight it, then I hit bracket, then it shows me. So that, w well, I'm I'm a little confused how the, maybe the, because the, I came down here through that shaft, maybe that did not drop me straight down. Maybe that went through a, a twisting, uh, route oh so now i got a sky beast there's a weird thing in this game where when the sky beast can turn invisible and when there's an invisible creature around auto pickup turns off it'll turn back on when the invisible thing has has been eliminated i, I think you can also reactivate it manually but then it'll just deactivate the next time invisible thing is around or something. I, I don't understand why auto pickup deactivates when invisible things are around. I guess there must be some reason. Well, I'm just going to ignore this guy beast until it decides it actually wants to fight. I need to find this. Um, there's the invisible thing. Is that it? That bracket? Because I had an invisible... A scene of, uh, there was an invisible thing in a, in my last game, and there, there was sometimes this weird bracket on screen. Why it shows as a bracket, I don't know. That was it. Is Do I have some, like, sense that lets me see them partially? I don't have any special scene visibility stuff. Well, I'm hitting the heck out of it. And I think it's dead because auto, auto pickup is back and I feel more experienced and my spectral X is gone. And that's a sky beats corpse. So I guess I did it. Um, so I need to find this. I don't, a wyvern skeleton could be kind of tough. Just using a tab, not tough. Stone staircase leading up, stone staircase leading down. An ogre. Where did it go? Ran away, there it is. Tab gets it. Blowing rapier. An old sergeant with a pole arm. Ooh, that endoplasm was freezing me pretty good. Uh, where did that knoll go? I'm in this little maze thing. There he is. Whoa. 
was weird. So no vampiric rapier. Um, uh, so does one of these stairways lead to... Why is that one red? Down stairway there. Those are all up stairways on the left. Down stairway on the right. And then there's this shaft and that other down stairway. And then this weird red one. If I... If I go over here, am I still going to hear this sound? Do I? To get over there? I have to go down a level? No, let's not do that. Why do I... Oh yeah, it's a totally separate dungeon area. That's weird. Okay then. Um, well then maybe this goes somewhere, because that was, that was the only other one except the red one. There's a stairway up over there. Maybe that, maybe that's it. Well, let's see where the down staircase goes. Just on dungeon level five. And it's not, I haven't seen any other part of this dungeon five. There's another shaft. So this seems to be completely going away from the ossuary. Well, there's the temple. So yeah, the, so this staircase to the temple is in yellow. So wait, so I wasn't on Dungeon 5 before with that red staircase. I just want to go to the temple so I can see it. And then we'll, we'll go out of here. But I should be, I can find my way back here now with the uh, maps. So, it, I think it was something to do with that red staircase. Let's go, uh, let's just check this staircase here. Oh, those are all red as well. What does red mean? That one's not red. Does red mean that it shifts position? Maybe that's what red means, but this one shifts position. That doesn't. Why is this area of the floor yellow? Is there a torch? Collapsed entrance. Did I come in there? Oh, maybe I missed. Maybe that's where the ossuary was and I missed it. Because I'm not seeing those messages anymore. Oh. Oh, I guess that's what it was. I took too long to find that other part of the dungeon. Well, this is dungeon five. Yeah, I guess I missed it. Sheesh. Wow, 
Well, that was an interesting puzzle that I guess I failed at. I did not realize you would have mapping puzzles quite like that. I figured it out, but too late. So then where does that other one go? Where did that shaft go? Now I've completely forgotten. It's still dungeon five, but they're... They're separate dungeon fives or something. I don't uh, no, wait, no, that one can... Okay, well. Find me where you went, escape hatch. Oh, yeah, it's down, it's down there. Oh, well, okay, I'm a dummy. <clears throat> right. All right, well, yeah, I, I, I have missed the... Uh, Looks, sure looks like I missed the ossu ossuary. I'll never know what cool stuff is in there. Boots. Don't have boots. Just been barefoot in it. Of course, I'm flying, so I don't really need boots at the moment, I suppose, but they probably added a little, did they? Uh, T for takeoff, takeoff boots. Yeah, they add one AC. Not really tough monsters I'm encountering so far. In the past, I've encountered tough monsters. Um, even on, like, dungeon level three. I mean, there was King Ribbit or whatever. I should save that scroll to identify... I should use it on the potion. Uh, two lumpy cyan potions, for instance... Potions of curing, that sounds good. Stores a small amount of health, cures poison confusion. Let's read that scroll though. Scroll of fear. Lots of staircases down, so I am annoyed that I did not get to see the uh, ossuary. Ossuary, does that mean like bone yarn? What was this thing? Shaft. And if that shaft will get me there, I might as well go look around the temple, but I, if it's like the other temple levels I've seen, it's just a bunch of shrines. Altars, anyway. It's a different shape than the other shrine I saw in the last one. Guess they got a bunch of these, though. Or temple. Are do. Are there temples in, in parts of the world where there are shrines to multiple different gods? I guess that's... Yeah, there are, huh? But are are these all... I guess they all fit into the one pantheon of this world then. That, I guess that figures. Um, all right, well, get me... Out of here. I don't want your religion... I 
The guy ain't gonna tell me what to do. I'm a free Roman Minotaur. Oh, Phantom. Spectral War Axe versus Phantom. That, that guy didn't last long. I wonder if the... Uh, his abilities are Horns 2. That's the stage 2 of a Horn mutation. And Retaliatory Headbutt. He doesn't have... Any kind of vision ability, it doesn't look like. But I keep getting that brackety thing with invisible things sometimes. There's more, more spell book that uh, those are 98% failure. Wait a second, Pat. What was the spell I learned? Oh, yeah. Um, S? X? No. Z? Yeah, Sandblast. I guess since I only have one spell, it just automatically picks it. Maybe. Wait, so my risk of failure is 98% with Sandblast. I thought I thought I was 80. Aw. Uh, confirm with enter. Can't see any susceptible monsters. Use Z to cast anyway. Shift C. Uh, Z. No. Shift C. Enter. Uh oh, I'm contaminated with residual magic. I forget what that does. Uh, but if you get con too much contamination, something bad happens. Oh, maybe that's how you, that's one way you can get a mutation, I think. Magical contamination is faded. Ijib. Ijib the Twisted Goblin. She is wielding a plus zero club, carrying a wand of digging. Wand of digging, that sounds kind of cool. Even though I don't really like digging in Angband. I mean, I, I just it just seemed like a pain. Um, Saps a wand. Some rock shatters into small pieces. Which rock? I feel sick. She poisoned me. What did she poison me with? Was that the snake? Or the scorpion? It was a scorpion. I didn't notice. I didn't wait. I didn't wait for the poison to wear off. How poisoned am I? Mildly. I should be alright. Depending on what Ijib decides to do to me. Ah. Uh, Tortured at wand point and killed. She's going to torture me at wand point? She looks easy? What What are you saying? She's intelligent. She is small. Well, she's some kind of magician. Um, I guess I'll just try to whack her. Or I could sling stones at her. Poison isn't helping. She tried to hit me. I I hit her but did no I headbutted her but did no damage. Spectral War Axe missed her. Spectral War Axe hits her. She's pink in her status thing on the right. Pink square. Okay, she's severely wounded. And she's dead. Spectral War Axe got her. Leather armor and a club. Well, and that is left, what's left of Ijib, aside from the corpse. Cool. Let's identify a viscous pink potions. Two of those. Potion of heal wounds. So I probably could just be using auto explore here. More spells. Book of Vapors, Poisonous Vapors, and Corpse Rot. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to cast them either. 98% failure chance with Sandblast. What else? So 
So again, a very uneventful level. I've missed the ossuary and well, there was the temple, I guess. But a pretty weak opposition. Nothing else going on. I missed the ossuary. That was the main thing. Gosh darn it. Well, yeah, really, really nothing here. This was the, the not the real level. Um, but there is that shaft. I, I'm nursing a forlorn hope that this shaft will still somehow get me to the temple or the ossuary, not the temple. So let's bop down the shaft, sucked into a shaft and drop one floor. I wonder if you can ever drop more than one floor. Shaft crumbles and collapses. Necrophage dead. At least that's something that's a little buffer. Black bear, okay. Black bear is dead. Two knolls, one with a polearm. No shaman. Ton of arrows, no bow. Glass wand, wand of ice blast. It's funny how I guess you identify when you pick it up. So I got some pretty cool wands. Book of necromancy. Oh, it didn't offer to learn any spells from it. That's all right, I guess. Orc wizard. Oh, it confused me. I could probably drink a potion to get me out of confusion. I don't think I'm in any actual danger from these two. See, I'm hitting the walls instead of aiming at the wizard. Here's an invisible thing. The wizard just vanished himself, but I can see him as this curly bracket. Another orc just came in. So he's he's stuck in the tunnel with me anyway. Oh, now he's navigated around. Well, I got him. That's one nice, the ax can hit anything, so it kept hitting him anyway. I mean, it hits all around you is what I mean. And without their shaman, they died. A wyvern, wow, one hit killed the wyvern. Well, no, I hit it and the spectral war axe hits it. Two hits. Don't discount my spectral buddy. Iguana. I don't know if I've seen an iguana before. Orc wizard. Oh, um, all right. The orc wizard's dead. Boy, these poor orc warrior. Well, your wizard's dead, guys. I feel like I should just start using Auto Explore here because these guys are a bunch of chumps. Hobgoblin zombie, I mean. Orc zombie. Ooh, scroll of Enchant Armor. More spells that I won't be able to cast, probably. Escape hatch in the floor. Those are one way. They close behind you and you can't get back up. They're in back book. Compilation of children's stories. So it's got some spells. Translocation spells. Always ending with the traveler returning to the place they started. The tales. Uh, allowing a skilled mage to transport others by reciting specific passages. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, teleport other and so forth. But it didn't offer to learn anything from it. Well, 
I'm not going to be using spells anyway. Bullfrog zombie. You got some zombies. Slightly tougher, dumber versions of regular monsters, I guess. Oh, let's resort to auto explorer. Okay, I can see that. Hey, a mummy's in here. Well, didn't last long. Got a scroll. Got a lot of enchanted weapon things. I've been holding out for some buffer weapon, I guess, but... Oh, no, that's that's the only enchant weapon one I have. Enchant armors. Uh, um, oh, a scroll of magic mapping. I don't actually really like these. They, they make the map more confusing. I can't really tell where I haven't been yet. But obviously there could be instances where you would be in a really dangerous area and you would definitely want to know more about the parts you had not seen yet. More scrolls of identify. More stones. Not many monsters. Howler monkey skeleton. Whoops. Centaur. Oh, centaurs are kind of kind of buff. Took a couple hits. They can sling things at you. Uh, level 9, so that's my third attribute point. We'll just do strength. Centaur zombie. How many hits is this one going to take? Can ignore it. And some orcs. This could be slightly hazardous. Retaliatory headbutt against the centaur zombie. Orc Priest dies, wasn't even aiming at him. Oh, Spectral War Axe was. Well, Centaur Zombie's already dead. No f hot fight action there. Watch that I don't get poisoned from these darn snakes. You know, we got centaurs over here in the eastern section of the map anyway. Oh, there I got the there and back and started reading. Hmm, didn't do that before. Unless that's a different one, huh? Uh, oh. haven't found any shops either. I mean, I'm dun on Dungeon Six. Haven't found any shops. These these levels have been really boring. I think it's counting on these side areas, and I missed the friggin' ossuary. Did I look it up? Um, feature, I suppose. Branch. Try branch. These aren't alphabetical. Four, ossuary. Small tomb containing the remains of grave goods of some distant relatives of the pharaohs. Corpses of their retainers and household animals. Riddled with many traps, undead denizens. Well, I missed it. Gosh dang it. I don't know if there's some other way to get there. Probably not. Well, no use crying over clogged ossuary entrances. Get out of here. So I'm on Dungeon 7. This is probably close to about as far down in the dungeon as I've been. I haven't encountered more, well, more spells at a Book of Air. More spells I won't be able to use. I haven't encountered tough monsters. Got a few uniques, but they haven't been very tough. I feel like I could keep using Auto Explore at this rate. Scroll. Oh, scroll of teleportation. Well, that's going to warp me. Or, you know, teleport me. Um, 
Might as well read that scroll of identify and check out a potion. Silvery potion. Potion of invisibility. Hmm, cool. So I have the status teleport. Teleport takes something like six rounds or something to kick in. Put five and rest. There we go. So it's obviously not meant as a real escape from combat if you're about to die or something. Oh, there's a bow. How many bows? Have I passed up bows before? Get the bow. Um, should I use the bow instead of the sling, I wonder? What do, we, what do we know about the bow? Base damage, 9. Attack delay, 1.3. Accuracy. So, plus 2, 9, 1.3. It's a two-handed. Um, the sling is plus 2, 7, 1.2. So, it's, the sling is faster, but does less damage. Oh, and it's firing bullets. It does the same damage as the bow and is faster, though. And it's one-handed. So as long as I have... I have 89 sling bullets, I guess I'll stick to the, to the hunting sling. But then I guess I might as well hang on to the short bow. And if I get... Probably some other kinds of bows would do more damage. A long bow or something. I don't know. Well, I got more potions of turning into trees. Very boring dungeon I have conjured up. I wish I wish I could see the ossuary and its tasty undead minions. I mean, at this point, I've probably leveled up to the point where it wouldn't be too tough anyway, so there's no point anymore. Ooh, we got some lava. Got some lava, a big field of lava. Is this going to be a temple? Where's this path going? Bullfrog zombie. Uh, I feel like I've... Oh, there's a teleport trap. Oh, I can fly over the lava, that's right. Uh, should I risk it? I didn't mean to with that. I wanted to go south. There we go. The lava snake spits lava at you. Look at his status as catching breath. What set me on fire? This lava snake's kind of mean. We know about these lava snakes. Burning red snake dwells in pools of lava. It spits gobs of molten rock at passers-by. High evasion. Spit lava does 3d10 damage. That's pretty good. Its bite does seven damage, but deals up to six extra fire damage. It is susceptible to cold, immune to fire. Well, Lava Snake is the toughest thing we've found so far. It's dead. Oh, okay. So yeah, I can just fly over this lava. Sweet. Don't give out now, Ring. I will be one barbecued minotaur. I don't think there's anything I can get to behind this lava now. Well, that was kind of fun, though. That lava snake was, you know, it was a little, a little concerning for a moment. A little surge of adrenaline. What is that? Is that a little seam of lava? No, it's just blood. Blood, lava. Hot blood, hot lava. I don't think I've seen a wall spattered with blood before, though, have I? Maybe that's a secret. But I don't think it was spattered with blood until I fought those snakes. It's a poem about a rock wall. Scale mail. That's what I started with, right? Yeah. 
Full of teleportation. Centaur zombie. Already killed one of those. I'm just auto exploring now to finish out the rest of this. Done exploring. Hmm. There was a teleport trap that I could have potentially used as a tactical escape. But there was no need because those were all chumps. Well, shift X. Get to the nearest stairway down. Let's get out of here. I continue to mourn my lost mister mysterious ossuary. Uh-oh. The orc priest looks encouraged for a moment. Orc wizard. So there's an orc wizard who vanished. He's that wiggly bracket, probably. It's a regular orc. Did the priest die or did he just hide? Oh, we have two invisible things. Is that an invisible guy with a spear? He's hitting me from two squares away. Well, something seems to be blocking me from moving forward. A magic dart appears from out of thin air. Magic dart hits you. Well, okay. So it's like I can see a lot of, I guess it was just that one thing, that was my previous remembrance of where I last saw it, another squiggly bracket. Yeah, I can see invisible things as squiggly brackets. That's interesting. Oh, okay, here's a ghost house. What's going on out here, though? Got a shrine to Dithminos. Got some arrows. Gold. We got a ring. Another ring of flight. Uh, I don't need that. Okay, so this is a ghost house. It Shinryokin's ghost should be a player or a copy of a player wielding a weapon of flaming. Shoryuken, or Shinryoken, the fighter, a novice Jin fire elementalist. 85 hit points. Pretty high evasion. Looks extremely dangerous. Immune to poison, negative energy, and torment. Very resistant to fire. Resistant to steam, cold, and miasma. Miasma. Ah, uh, hmm. Has, a, has several spells. What is Jill's gravitas redirects gravity, causing it down to be toward that point, fall helplessly toward that point, typically colliding with each other. Ah, uh, all right, well, um, so I just have to open the door and then I can fight this player ghost. And of course you don't have to. Oh, I have that wand of digging. I should check that out. Trails tunnels through unworked rock. A bit loud. Um, I could drink a potion of might. I could drink a potion of haste. I could drink both of those. If I was worried about this guy, I'm not particularly worried. He does have more hit points than me. If, if worst came to worst, I have a scroll of teleportation, but that takes like six turns to kick in, so that's not a great escape if you're about to die. I have a, uh, what was it? A, a wand of paralysis. I wonder how reliable that is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so if he turned out to be super buff, I could definitely be in trouble. Well, uh, I have two potions of haste and two potions of might. Might as well. 
Take a couple of them just, just for funsies. Potion of Might down the hatch. Well, now he's taunting me. He must not succeed where I fail, or he's actually in despair. And Potion of Haste. So now I am fast and mighty and still flying. And let's fight Shinryokin's, Shinryokin's ghost. Well, he came right at me. I hit him. My headbutt missed him. The spectral war axe hit him. He's already kind of wounded. Moderately damaged. Uh, waves its arms in wide circles. He's casting. Is that that gravity spell? He did it again. But nothing. There's nothing around here to fall on me. I. I don't think. The specter could fall on me. Headbutted him. Warax hit him. And he's dead. Probably didn't need those potions, but what the hey. Got a good chunk of cash. Haven't seen any shops. Well, that was the first player ghost I've seen in a while. It's the first one with this character, of course. Oh, my haste wore off. Might still going. So haste doesn't last very long at all. There goes might as well. So yeah, those don't last too long. I didn't rest. So that was just straight turns, I think. There's an escape hatch, but... So I wonder if those can be used for actual escape, too, where monsters couldn't follow you. I mean, the name suggests a hornet being... stinging me. I'm slowed. Mm. Haven't found any plate mail. I have been finding plate mail pretty pretty regularly with other characters at lower levels than this. Vern's is a wyvern zombie. Wyvern with Vern? I don't know. Are these real words? Got a whole bunch of orcs and Grum. Grum the hunter. Doesn't see me yet. What if I back? Oh, I think he saw me. So I got an orc and a bunch of wolves on my tail. There's Grum. He did see me. Or he followed the others anyway. Just taking out the wolves between us. So what's Grum's deal? Tough looking knoll. Got a halberd. So he could start hitting me over this next wolf. Once I whittle that other one down here. Uh... It's not mad at me. He's not that tough. Oh, I'm almost dead. Grum's heavily wounded. I, uh... I was not... Now, did I miss a... I don't think I missed a low HP warning. Hmm. I have potions of curing. Those don't... I have potions of heal wounds. Causes wounds to close and heal almost immediately. That sounds like it probably heals more hit points than a potion of curing, which only heals a small amount of health. Would that be worth it now, or would it be better to finish off Grum as fast as possible? I could use a wand, a wand of flame, a little puff of flame. I could try the wand of paralysis on him. That might be a good idea. Uh, let's see. Ice Blast is 3d7 damage. 
One of flame and I don't oh two D five, that's not much. The command to use a wand is is it like shift V or something? Yeah. Uh twenty four health. Rum resists. Well, gosh darn it. All right, how about, how about we ice blast these guys? We can hit one wolf and Grum. Sure do it. Oh no, I don't want it to hit me. Why is it gonna hit me? Does it bounce back? I shouldn't be, oh yeah, I guess it was probably an area effect. Well, he's heavily wounded. Shoot. I have a scroll of immolation, but that sounded a little iffy. Let's try the heal wounds. Sixty. Wow, well that that worked. Maybe I'll try that scroll now. Scroll of emulation. Yes. Okay. Is that bad for them? <laughs> They're filled with an inner flame. I don't know. Maybe I just made them horrible flame beasts. What other experiments should I run on Grum? I should just kill him, obviously. Uh, you can't throw potions in this game, which is too bad. I guess that's about it. I could have used a potion of lignification, I suppose. My AC is pretty bad. I've not found plate armor yet. But Grum is heavily wounded. We should be all right. Okay, he's engulfed in blazing flame. Fl oh, I hit him. Flame seeped out of him and engulfed him. So maybe that's it. Like, as long as the flame is inside them, they're okay. Is this flame going to hurt him? Ooh, a lot of stuff just happened. He exploded. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. Then the wolf exploded. We're all we're all in flames. Wow, chain reaction takes out everybody. I didn't get hurt. Um, I'm a miracle baby. I am in some kind of cloud. Ah, oh, shoot. That doesn't tell me anything. I have a status red cloud. I'm going to back away. That was insane. Okay, I'm out of the red cloud. Cloud of flame. Cloud of flame, cloud of flame. What is this? Animal skin minus two halberd. So no bodies left. Wait, no, no bodies left. Uh, that, that scroll of immolation was nuts. Let's uh let's hit five to heal. Rest, that is. HP restored. The fire has died down a little, looks like. Yes. There's just blood spatter everywhere. Wow, so those guys just went kaboom. A minus two halberd. A minus two halberd. Is that what Grum was wielding or did it get Messed up in the explosion. Well, that was a hoot. Triple sword, what? Four 
formidable weapon created by a master craftsman. Blade of the sword forks into three great razor sharp edges. Base accuracy minus four. That's not good. Base damage 19. That's high. Base attack delay 1.8 is pretty slow. Two handed sword. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I want to switch to swords. We got a ring over here. Uh oh, Shadow Imp tried to cast some kind of spell on me. Ugh. Shadowy Minor Demon, affinity for necromantic arts. Can cast pain. Oh, I ain't worried about pain. Ring of Ice, cool, get that. Yeah, cast pain on me. I guess that did some damage. Still haven't found a cloak. He's still painting me. He's dead. Well, that, uh, that immolation scroll really brought the party. Escape hatch in the ceiling. Wait, an escape hatch going up? Okay. I don't think I realized you could do that, but if I took that up, does that mean... I'm going to try it. So I went up. Yeah, then there's no way down. Mysterious force pulls you up where the hatch slams shut. So it is a one-way thing. That's interesting. Whoops. Oh, hi, Wyvern. Level 10. One hit to kill the poor... Wyvern, Wyvern, whatever he was, Howler Monkey, Howler Monkey, come on. Uh oh, there's a steam dragon. Well, I was I was getting bored with the uh, Howler Monkey, and then the steam dragon came down and puffed some scalding steam at me, and I heard a shout. Uh. Relatively small gray dragon with a resilient looking scaly hide and steam pouring from its mouth. So not many hit points. Resistant to steam. So it's not resistant to fire. Steam ball 3d10. I think it's out of sight at the moment. I want to use ice blast on it. There it is. Shift V, one device blast. Yeah, get it. How you like steam? Or did it say it was a vulnerable to cold? I don't remember if it did. Well, how do you like cold? Yeah, it does an area of effect around it. Take that steamy. Moderately wounded. I'm engulfed in scalding steam. Somebody is shouting. So it's not, is it not the dragon? Something else is shouting. Well, I'm just going to keep getting steamed here and blast him again. Heavily wounded. I could probably just drop him with... Um, sling bullets now. He steamed me again. Wait, there was a... Uh, there was a command that would fire... Oh, I guess that's it. Wait a second, I can't see it. Where did it go? It's Oh, it's hidden in the steam. Son of a gun. Oh, see, that was not well planned. Well, it's dead. Shouldn't have come up on me, dragon. Should have kept steaming me from a distance. I mean, I guess I was hitting it with a wand, but I only have limited wand charges, although it couldn't have known that, maybe. No howler monkey. Well, that was. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's a party. Uh, we got a null sergeant. We got a howler monkey. We got two gnolls. And we got four kobolds just charging down this hallway. The howler monkey hoots and howls with incredible vigor. What does that do anyway? Does that buff them kind of? The 
kobold is shouting. No one knows for sure where kobolds come from. Um, warning cry generates a loud noise alerting nearby enemies. So maybe he sort of gathered this mob to him. Well, I got the uh, ice blast. I wonder if the one of flame has a it does not have an area of effect. Ice Blast does. So, I get four of them there. Looks like that's all I can get because it'll hit this first one. Oh, that's all right, I guess. Do it. Oh, wow. Is it sticking around or is it just paused because there's a more? Engulfed the howler monkey, killed the kobolds. Yeah, it was just temporary. Um, that was cool. Dodging skill increased. Was it because it did somebody shoot at me? Quivering poison darts. Ugh. There's a bunch of these dudes. I guess I gotta hit him with another ice blast. I still can't aim past them. Howler Monkey's almost dead. Noel killed the Noel. Noel Sergeant's heavily wounded. Another Howler Monkey just showed up though. Uh, I'm down to 60 health. What? Somebody's been pelting me with something? Or did I not have a chance to heal after that dragon? I guess that's what it was. Ah, one more shot with the hay. All right. No sergeant's almost dead. Did I kill one of the howler monkeys? I did. Anything else I can do at the moment? I have a ring of ice. Wait, I have a ring of ice. Oh, right. Well, I didn't realize I found that. Resistance, resistance to cold and enhances cold ma ice magic. Oh. Well, if I wore that, it would have been beefing up my, uh, hmm, now I want to try that. More tuned to ice, so now I'm going to fire the ice blast. I don't think I'm in, unfortunately I can only get two of them now. Well, it just killed them outright, so maybe that did improve the damage. Maybe not. 3d7, it still says 3d7 for the wand. Well, now we're just left with kobolds, so that should be fine. This kobold brigand's taking some hits. Oh, another steam dragon. Uh oh. That, uh,. That could be slightly bad. What uh, hey. What if I paralyze this guy? Oh, with a steam dragon will probably just kill him. Oh, he resisted the everything resists my paralysis. I wonder if the steam dragon's going to just fry all of us. Let's just have a big old minotaur and kobold stew. I 
Should I start carving through the kobolds and just try to get to him as fast as possible? I could drink a potion of haste or something. I could, I could use a scroll of immolation and just turn the kobolds into bombs, but that uh, that sounds just as risky as anything. I'm going to start carving through these kobolds. I want to get to that dragon. There we go. Dead. Yeah, those dragons don't have much hit points. Another potion of lignification. They got our steam dragon scales. I don't want to pick them up. I want to look at them. Ah, not be there. Steam dragon scales. My armor would decrease by four, but they're gives resistance to scalding steam. Extremely light. Oh well. An orc just snuck up on... Oh, we got orc ambush from behind now. There's a lot of guys coming. Maybe it's all those howler monkeys. Actually, did... Did one howler monkey get away? Yeah, there's, there's the other steam dragon scales. Intense little battleground here. I can't remember if I got that other howler monkey... Uh, I should rest. And there's another orc just wandered in. Three plus three trident of venom. Plus one accuracy, nine damage. That's not very good. Poisons people. Well, that was a that was a fun encounter. Those steam dragons are a little disappointingly weak uh, as far as hit points go. And we got some <coughs> orcs with their little river base here. Still haven't found that cloak, man. They have a little moat. I see they have a moat around their fort. Is it a fort? I mean, we're in a dungeon. It's a stone wall. I mean, why do you need a uh, who knows? An even star. The opposite of a morning star, evening star. Balance mace with a long shaft and a metal head covered in lethal spikes. Okay. Not very accurate. Is it two? It's one-handed. It does 15 damage. That's a lot. And like, how much does my axe do? My axe does 11. But it does hit things around me. But it's definitely not the toughest kind of axe. Minus one accuracy. Base attack to like 15, or 1.5. Same as my axe, so it does do more damage. Ah, I don't know. I think I'll just stick with axes. Anyway, I got my spectral buddy. That's a funny little work for it. More orcs, orc wizard wandering around. Oh, whoa, what was the steam? Guess I should have paid a little more attention. Uh, the wizard went invisible and is draining, draining what from me? The spectral war axe hit it. Huh. Well, that was handy. I wonder if the spectral war axe can see... Um, he was draining my life force. Can see invisible. Plate armor. There we go. A whip of draining. I guess that's what was doing it. 
Yeah, that would just drain health and heal the, the user. There we go. That's what I want. I want to get it. G. Uh, C. Shift W, wear that plate armor. Shift H. AC 17 now. Wait, was that was that a good move? What was my... Um, chain would drop by three. Well, so it wasn't that big a deal. Huh. Okay, well. Drop the... Uh, drop the W. Drop the chain. Now I've got... Two scroll, uh, four scrolls of enchant armor. My, uh, is it plate armor? Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna read them. Shift H, enchant that stuff. So I think it should be plus one now. Plus one plate armor. It can get up to plus ten. So we're going to get it up to plus four. Plus four plate armor, sweet. Well, that's good. I am encouraged by having plate armor. Wolf. Why did the wolf go surrounded by a color like that? I don't know. has a quote on a separate page. Oh, it's not a poem. Traditional Spanish joke. Teacher, how does a dog smell? Student, I don't know. Teacher, correct. Uh, that was a really bad joke. Also, it was a dog, not a wolf. Don't, couldn't they find a wolf joke? What is going on? Is this bubbling? Is this bubbling? That's cool. There's a shop in the middle of the bubbling lava. Wait, so I want to, if I hit period to pass my turn, yeah, you can see it bubbling up. Oh my gosh, bubbles appear right where the shop is. Wait, bubble goes away. So, okay, one turn, two, three, four, bubble. One, two, three, four, bubble. Interesting. So the last state of the bubble is the little bubble. Bubble. No bubbles are appearing on the lava right next to me. Travel excluded area. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, I guess I don't know how to get in there then. I don't know exactly what this travel excluded area business is. Gems Demolition Depot. Demolitions Depot. A shop in the dungeon beyond side of the world above. Managed by a secretive or inclusive shopkeeper who cannot be bargained with. Grants no refunds. Interested in nothing you may have to sell. Well, none of them buy anything. Some shop, I don't think. Some shops hawk antiques of unknown provenance and offer a little hint. I think this is just a generic shop description. Um, so I can't actually get to it. I bet, yep. Well, at least the auto nav does not know how to get there. So it says really fly into a travel excluded area. I don't know what that would do. I'm gonna look this up on my phone. Travel excluded area. DCSS travel X if I can spell excluded excluded 
Here we go. What the heck is a travel excluded area? Says someone on the DCSS Reddit in 2019. Just lost a troll on CAO because it ignored an exclusion. There's a there's a wiki entry about exclusion. Let's go to that. Exclusions are areas of the dungeon which have been marked as especially dangerous or unwise to explore. The auto explore feature will avoid exclusion marked areas entirely, and the game will ask you for confirmation before allowing you to walk. Uh, into an exclusion manually. Exclusions will be automatically generated near terrain, which is clearly dangerous to stand in, but you can create your own by entering examine mode and moving the cursor over the tile you wish to exclude, then pressing E. Oh, that's kind of cool. Examine mode is press X. All oh, right. Uh, pressing E once will exclude all terrain within line of sight of the excluded tile. Pressing it twice will only exclude the tile itself. Pressing a third time will erase the exclusion altogether. Pressing control, you will remove all exclusions. Uses for exclusions. Placing a line of sight exclusions to the sleeping monitor you hope to avoid. The sleeping monster you hope to avoid will allow you to continue exploring the floor with auto explore without the risk of waking it up. Hmm. Players who tend to tab their way through combat may wish to use single tile exclusions when involved in difficult battles near shallow water webs or other terrain that may one may accidentally step into. Excluding all but one of the staircases on a floor will guarantee that you will always use the remaining one when auto-traveling. It's useful in trying to minimize the time it takes to reach your stash. Well, so it sounds like it's not actually something that will hurt me. It's just a warning. Let's see what the Reddit thing said. Area that which has been marked by the game or manually by the player is dangerous to be moving through. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. So it is still, those bubbles would be dangerous to me. So I can get over there. And this guy did walk into it and took some damage from the lava or whatever it was. All right, well, I think I can, I think I can do it. Not sure about getting out. So the red is just a an exclusion zone, not lava, because lava is like a equal sign or something. Yes, shift yes. What is the pink? The pink is the floor. Well, why is it bubbling? This one to the right of the shop doesn't seem to. Bu oh, there it went. If I move now, though, that little bubble over the shop will disappear, and then I'm in, and then I better get inside. I only have 355 gold. I can afford a book of conjurations, a wand of acid, or a wand of mind burst. Not super interested in any of those. There is a condenser vein here. That's interesting. That's the thing I got out of a swamp with uh, one of the first times I played this game in my first uh, recorded episode. I guess I did use it once or twice. A magical device that combines ambient air with various destructive clouds, blah, blah. Of course, I don't have a high evocation skill, and I'm not likely to get a high evocation skill. They recharge as you gain experience. So it's not over time you have to gain XP to recharge it. That's interesting. Anyway, it's more too rich for my blood. Various books of spells, book of annihilations, conjurations, power storms, a lightning rod. What is a lightning rod? Allows its wielder to file unavoidable blasts of lightning. Consecutive evocations cause the discharge to be sustained. She increases the power level to four times, allows the blast to be redirected to affect an area. The strength of the blast increases with evocation skill. So that's charges. Once all charges have been used as device and all other devices of its kind are rendered temporarily inert, they recharge as you gain experience. Well, that's interesting. I could almost afford the lightning rod. That sounds a little more fun than the condenser vein. 
Uh, and it wouldn't require, yeah, it wouldn't, well, you do need an evocation skill. Anywho, probably Wand of Acid, yeah, 45. Wand of Mind Burst, I think I had one of these the other day. Psychic Attack, yeah, I, I don't know if I ever got to use it. 3d8, so it just says damage of some variety. Okay, now I'm out. I better move fast before the bubbles get me. There we go. Well, that was fun. And now I know what an exclusion zone is. You can, it's just a warning zone. A warning set by the map for dangerous spots. Because those bubbles, yeah, would get me even if I was flying. And it, it also, it means, it makes it so that auto, I guess the real purpose is so that auto explore, if I was exploring the level with auto explore, auto explore would not go through there. So you couldn't just get boiled in the bubbles thanks to auto explore. Why did it come back over here? Ah. Where am I? What the heck? Oh. Potion of haste. Good deal. Poison darts. Ancient flail. Zero accuracy, plus zero accuracy, base damage 10, base delay 1.4, that's pretty good. Cannot be changed by magic or mundane means, but it doesn't look like it has any powers. It says unidentified melee artifact weapon. Oh, plus one flail of indomitability, so I actually had to move on top of it. Vorpal. Inflicts extra damage. Oh, minus five to your strength? What the heck? I've, a lot of these artifacts seem to have minus, one minus and then like two pluses. That's what this has. Minus five strength, plus three intelligence, resist acid and corrosion. Yeah, I'm not going to take stuff with minuses. There's got to be cool stuff that doesn't have minuses, right? I hope. I hope. Done exploring. Well, there was some interesting stuff on this level. There's a lot of stuff. That even star. I guess I should, you know, get those poison darts and all. It's just uh, kind of gross. Gross feeling. That funky depot, demolition, Jim's gem, demolition depot, or is it Gim's? And then it lists the stuff in the shop, which I guess is on one hand kind of handy, on the other hand, kind of spams the list. Um, that weird flail, but I don't want to take stuff with a minus on it. Ring mail of poison resistance, oh. Let's go check that out. My AC would drop by 11. <clears throat> uh, protects from poison. Eh. Identified ego armor. Well, I guess we're done. Shift X, right pointy bracket. I shouldn't take the escape hatch. That was stupid, because now there's no stairway up. Yeah, that was dumb. And I'm facing a polar bear and a white imp, and who knows what else is going to come wandering up. Uh, this could be real bad. Imp doesn't seem so scary. You can throw frost. That's a little worrisome. Pretty 
Berserker Rage. A little worried about the polar bear. Uh, and I have a lot of potions. Oh, I'm still wearing the ring of ice. Well, I'm on an I I'm on an ice level right now. It's just a polar bear. I don't know what I'm on. I guess I still have that wand of ice blast, so I might as well. Uh, I have two potions of haste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink one right now because who knows what could come wandering up right here. I shouldn't have taken this. Of course, monsters can follow you upstairs, so maybe it's not that big a difference that I went through a trap door with no way back at my feet as I am here facing a new batch of monsters. But it couldn't hurt to speed myself up for a bit. Yep, there's another imp and a yak. Yaks are kind of tough. We've got an Uffatubus. Chattering and Shrieking Minor Demon, only seven hit points. Get the Uphatubus, okay, Uphatubus went down. Polar Bear went down. Come over here, Yak, I don't want to be going too far yet. Come on, Yakity, Yakity Smackity. Yak's dead. Stairway down. Yeah, I should not have taken that escape hatch. A centaur simulacrum. What does that mean exactly? Ice replica of a monster animated by powers of necromancy. Ice, huh? I'm a tune dice. This one's susceptible to fire, of course. 12 extra cold damage. That's pretty tough. Does oh, only 12 hit points though, so you just shatter it. In fact, I, what if I, uh, oops, wrong button. How about some sling bullets? Severely damaged. Smash. Vaporized. What is that in its place? Is that... It's not a monster. A cloud of freezing vapor. Okay. It dropped a scroll of teleportation on me, maybe. I was still hasted that whole time. Well, this is an interesting little igloo. What's the, is it hiding something in there? Is that stuff gonna hurt me? Harmless. Oh, sling bullets. I feel like there's probably something under this, those clouds. Hey, you wanna come in here, Orcs? You like this little ice bath? Oh, it didn't pick up my sling bullets. Now it did. The orc priest casts a cantrip, but nothing happens. Oh, sorry to hear that, orc priest. Now you're dead. Oh, two with one. Oh, no, nothing was there. They all faded out at once, and there was nothing. That's too bad. Thought there might at least be some kind of hidden shrine or something. What's the deal with these yaks anyway? Uh, I was fighting a bunch of them in a previous game, I think. Maybe I, 
maybe I wasn't. Maybe I'm confusing those with something. Commandant, yeah, I was. I have a bunch of HP. Can gore for 18 damage. That's uh, kind of buff. Kind of buff for just a mob monster. Now I got him in a hallway. So he's, he's done some damage to me. White hemp. Takes a couple hits. Took more than a couple on that last one. It won't auto pick up stuff that I don't already have, I think is how these games usually do it. I haven't I'm not picking up the poison stuff. Embroidered robe. Robe of fire resistance. I need a cloak. Not a robe. This is an interesting little level, like simple rock. Spellbook, Ensorcelled Hibernation and Spider Form, a book of dreams. Scale mail. Oh boy, a bunch of yaks. Treat to the tunnel, there we go. There you go. As long as you just practice herd management, you're okay. Whoa. I took a couple steps more than I should have here, but an electric eel shot, a bolt, shot bolts of lightning at me. We got two eels and two whites. Whites could be bad. <clears throat> Undead, blah, blah, not many H HPs, it doesn't look like it, oh, oh, uh, it can hit to drain life, but that just means it would kind of heal itself, I think, from hitting you, it shouldn't be bad, it says it looks easy, I guess that's a summary of how it compares with me, Electric eels look easy. They don't have many hit points. They fire those bolts that do decentish damage. Actually, I wonder what the seven after the three D six means. Oh, that's the spell range. I am in range. Oh, that's cool. Showing in red if you're in range. Um, hmm. what's the best way to approach this business? I don't want the eels blasting away at me, so I'm going to back off. The whites are coming, but the eels are lagging behind. I go down this hallway and wait. Come in. Did no damage. There we go. Headbutted and destroyed it. Okay. Whoa. They dropped a bunch of stuff. Uh, robes, Mesa Freezing. Mesa Freezing. Not much damage. Freezes those it strikes. D additional cold damage. Doesn't say how much. Slow down cold-blooded creatures, right? I mean, that's base accuracy plus three. That's not bad. But not max. I mean, it's all right. Another white? I thought I already killed two. Well, this one has a great sword of freezing. I don't know. Maybe I only killed one. No, I, I didn't. I killed two, right? There's two robes, yeah. Probably killed two. Plus two robe of willpower. Nice robe. Well, come and get it. Uh, I might as uh, I'll just throw stuff. How about that? Missed. Hit but did no damage. All right. Rose, my spectral war axe. Yeah, 
and destroyed the white. Oh, there's the, oh, it's, a, it's not one of the electric eels. Great sword, minus three accuracy, 17 damage, 1.7 delay. Freezes those, it strikes. I mean, that's pretty cool. Again, not an axe. My skill level in long blades is zero. That's interesting. There's no cross training with uh Oh, it's not even in my list of skills. Neither is short blades. I haven't used a dagger. That's interesting. So yeah, no point in switching to swords now, I suppose. Well those electric eels are still up there. Maybe I should I can go around. Of a quabus, of a tubus. Orc warrior now. The one of these was kind of buff, as it say. It has got more HP. Able to command a small mob of its fellows. There's the mob, one of them. Huh. The mob ran up and just got diced while I'm swinging at the orc warrior. Orc warrior's dead. Orc warrior had plus three chainmail. That's pretty good. It's not going to be as good as my plate, my plus four plate, but yeah, only four behind my plus four plate. A little scared there. I wasn't hurting. Oh, what did they just fire through a gap in the rock? I want you guys to come around here. No. Hey, that hurt. Fly thou gleeking tickle brained bovine. So, is it something invisible that's yelling? There's some kind of unique creature over there. Here comes the gnoll. A wandering wolf? Great. No shaman. Oh, he outlined me in light, so I'm easier for, to hit. Get the gold, man. Get the potion. Bunch of gnolls. Scroll of magic mapping. White man, we just got guys. I wonder if somebody's summoning these things. Okay, can I rest? There we go. Okay, those uh those eels are pretty pretty nasty with their lightning bolts. Okay, where'd they go? There's one. I already looked at them, didn't I? 3d6. I mean, I feel probably not going to go well to have a, a sling bullet fight with an electric eel. Missed. Oh, and my stones are going in the water. I don't know if I can get those back or my bullets. Missed again. Yeah, not now the other one's here. Moderately wounded one. 
I sh I would probably do better just to charge them, but then I could get in a nasty crossfire if something went wrong and that I would have would not be able to get away from them quickly. So I'm just sniping at him. Ouch. Okay, that's enough of that for now. I think it healed. Ah, oh, shoot. I, yeah, that's a lot of zapping that just happened there. Oh, I got one, though. Okay, that's good. That will simplify this. Heavily wounded. Come on. Bellow. Okay, I think that's all of them. Oh, probably the yak belly up. Uh, so I probably just lost a bunch of the sling bullets. Oh well, I have a lot of them. Oh wait, the yaks just got around the hot oh, cheese. I got yaks on me. Yakking it up. Sling skill increased. Oh, I'm surrounded by yaks. The death yak. Whoa, where's the death yak? Larger and beefier. 77 HP. Looks extremely dangerous. Uh-oh. Well, they aren't very fast. Look at that. I just outran them. Come down this tunnel, guys. There you go. Death EX on me. Gored me. Didn't do much damage. Sprayed blood all over. Was that yak blood or my blood? Who cares anymore? It's a fight to the finish. It's almost dead. I'm moderately wounded. I reached level 11. I killed it. Sling skill went up to level 3. It's going up. Even though I used it before. That's interesting. Just a normal yak gored me. Didn't hurt. Okay. No treasure from yaks. I got some of my bullets. Oh, it's an eel. And a yak. Yak attack? You blocked the yak's attack. Yak attack. There's a shrine. How do I get over there? Why do I want to? But Sif Muna, Iron Altar of Okawaru. What is this? Hmm. Oh, that's that's over here. Well, this is weird. It's a closed off area there. Translucent rock walls can be dug through. So I could tunnel through there with my wand, for instance, I guess. I don't know if you can, there's probably other stuff you can use to dig. Simple rock that could be dug through. So, but what? Oh, it's an altar. Well, so I don't care. There's money in there. Nineteen, uh, probably not a big deal. That's an interesting construction, interesting layout, though. Okay, there was another. Another electric eel here. There it is. 
severely wounded with one bullet. I should just run up to it at that point, but oh well. Plus zero pair of boots. I think that's what I got. Scroll of enchant armor. Oh, why not? Don't mind if I do. I have true. Oh, that's enchant weapon. Still waiting for a better weapon, I guess. Seems like it wants me to tunnel through here or something, but there's no tunnel command per se, is there? So either you do it with like spells or wands or would you get specific like shovels or picks like in hangband? I mean, I suppose if I hit V and then take a swing at the wall. No. I don't know. Whoa. Okay, there's a white with a plus two Vorpal Battle Axe. Hey, now we're talking. Plus two Vorpal Battle Axe. I want to check that baby out. Got a bunch of whites. Oh, one of them spearing me with a pole arm. That's why it's hanging back. Only one has a pole arm. That's Good. And made the tactical error of standing in front. Oh, I'm in this hallway, so my uh, my spectral guy has no room to appear. I suppose if I backed up a couple squares, it could. There we go. There you go, buddy. Oh, not now. Polar bear went berserk. It's dead. Okay. That was what, four whites? What do we got here? I right. Warful Battle Axe. I'll take that. So my current uh, spectral, oh, it's not going to have the spectral stuff. 0, 11, 1.5. Warful Battle Axe is, oh, Shift-J. Oh, minus 4, 15, 1.7. Mm, then it's two-handed. Oh, I don't even have a shield yet. Inflicts extra damage. Doesn't say how much. Maybe just plus 2 is, is all. Uh, I like, I don't think the Vorpal, I don't think the Vorpal means it, like, cuts heads off or anything in particular. Let's, um, hmm. I am wearing a shield. Buckler. Buckler. So my AC is 22. My shield is 5. If I take the buckler off, I guess I started with the buckler. still have 22 AC. Shield is 0. I don't know how much that helps me. Warful battle axe. 
So I don't think this is actually really better than this, the setup I had. But I want to see if it, if the Vorpal means anything besides just does, you know, plus two damage or something. Okay, perfect. How do you like this Vorpalness? Nothing moderately damaged, severely damaged. Hits me, kicks me. Well, that didn't seem... My sling skill is still going up. I wonder if I just had not trained it to the point where it was being automatically trained with XP. I had not used the sling enough yet for that to start clicking in. Scroll identify. I think how Auto Explorer likes to re-explore the piles of loot that I generated before, and that's it. There was some decent stuff there, but nothing amazing. I mean, some of those, web, uh, you know, I got, so I got the axe, the magic axe, which, uh, if, if it had the ethereal thing on it that my other axe does, I, I would dig it, of course. Oh, there's 15 gold. There's all this gold. Uh, I better get the gold. Whoops. Did that not work? Don't know how to get there. Oh, that was in that, that, yeah, that walled off temple area. No gold for me. And here's just a staircase. Dungeon level 10. Oh, I'm getting some lag. Some real lag. Yikes. Most of the time, playing via SSH on the uh, CAO server feels like just playing offline. Vampire Mosquito. Uh, negative, oh no, uh, can bite to drain health. Yeah, okay. Draws strength from my injuries. Uh oh, oh, bunch of them. More, three vampire mosquitoes and an electric eel. If that eel can hit me from there, no. And a steam dragon, if he can hit me from there, I'm cooked. I back up a little bit so they can't see me. Uh oh, the steam dragon's coming, I think. Uh oh, is it lagging? No. The steam dragon is not firing, at least. Taking some damage. I'm not sure I'm actually making progress on hurting this particular vampire mosquito. It doesn't say what they're... Okay, moderately damaged. See, I don't have my buddy. Uh-oh. Uh, now I'm getting hurt pretty bad.
your wounds. I didn't. Let's do a haste. Okay, got one of the vampire mosquitoes. Dead, dead dragon. Come on, heal. Okay, well, I think I'm going to stop there. So, down to dungeon level 10. I'm a level 11 Minotaur at this point. I have a... Oh, I wasn't using my battle axe. Yeah, so this Vorpal battle axe. Uh, not, not super impressed with it. It was alright, but I liked the Spectral War Axe. Let's wield that baby. And uh, I have to wield my buckler. And we'll just drop the Vorpal Battle Axe. Plus zero flail. Why did I pick that chunk up? Oh, I have a plus four ring of protection. I should probably put that on. Shift P. Swap that for my Ring of Ice, which I should remember to switch to if I want to use the Ice Blast. Could get a little tricky. So that raised my AC 4. That's cool. I think that's what it did. Because I'm up to 26 now. Affects your AC plus 4, yeah. Um, I had a Ring of, or a scroll of, three scrolls of identify. Well, get reading, get identifying. Potions of degeneration. Uh oh. Reduces strength, intelligence, and dexterity. That's not what I want. Drop them. Read. Scroll of identify. Identify a sedimented golden potion. Potion of attraction. Makes the drinker attract enemies, translocating them quickly closer for the duration of the effect. Uh, drop. I mean, I don't know why. There doesn't seem to be encumbrance, but it just seems weird. Uh, read. We'll scroll of identify. Two lumpy amethyst potions. Potions of brilliance. Increases the power of the drinker's spells and halves their magic cost. Uh, well, I'll probably never need those. The potion of flight is in gray. That's interesting. I mean, is that because I have a potion of flight on and it's trying to tell me drinking it right now would be redundant? The wand of flame seems pretty weak. I should probably test it on something. Can I find some kind of lone, hapless, relatively unthreatening creature? No. I found Harold with a polearm and a missile and a Malai zombie. Harold the Weathered. Oh my gosh, what did I step into? He's an at symbol. Middle aged bounty hunter. So he's an at symbol, uh, an at symbol like a ghost, but a uh, player ghost. But he's not a player ghost. He's just a NPC. Seventy six hit points, pretty solid. Extremely dangerous. It says twenty damage with his halberd. That's pretty good. He's got throwing nets. He's got a harpoon shot for two d twelve. The snared victim will either be pulled adjacent to the cast or collide with anything blocking the way. He's got a sentinel's mark. Strong beacon announces a present. Okay, so he's yeah, a hunter. Uh, yeah. And the Malai zombie. Just a tough zombie. Looks easy. Can fly. Incapable of using stairs. That's interesting detail. I bet uh, I bet Harold can use stairs. Yeah, getting some lag here. Doesn't say he's incapable of using stairs. Well, uh, 
Oh, I'm held. Yeah, you got a throwing net on me. All right. I can't throw while holding held on the net. Well, that sucks. I wonder what I could do about that. I tore a gash in the net by trying to move. Harold thinks and says, perhaps I'll take up fishing after I'm done here. You're going to take up more than that. I ripped the net. Good. Now Harold, oh, the Harold retreated, so I've just got this zombie. Zombie's dead. Oh, he fired a net at my, at my spectral war axe. Get him. Trying to net my spectral war axe. It, just, it flew right through him. That was funny. Harold, you dope. Trying to net a spectral war axe. Who ever heard the like? Harold is almost dead. Harold splashes around in the water. I headbutted him. Slashed him. The axe got him. He's dead. Harold looks down at his immortal wounds and cries, but this was my last day before retirement. Oh, you hear a splash times four. Was that Harold making a lot of splashes when he fell? Throwing that. I should get that, probably. Potions of flight. Mm, cool. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I guess I did get the net. Yeah, I did. Mesh of ropes, blah, blah, blah. Struggling victims can eventually destroy the net and break free like I did. It didn't take long. Well, might as well keep it. I had a couple when I died last time that I could have used to snare the snakes who were biting me, but I think that the poison I had already taken would have killed me. Why am I still exploring? I gotta go. All right, well, um, some interesting opponents here on dungeon level 10, so that's promising. Dungeon level 10 is significantly more interesting so far, and we've only seen this tiny part of it. I missed that ossuary, that uh, tomb, which made me sad. But, oh, I should rest. But other, and other than that, I was just kind of cruising along. I mean, the steam dragons were interesting, but not tough. Um, so, maybe the toughest thing so far was those vampire mosquitoes or whatever those were. Um, but yeah, I have a feeling this level, well, this level is definitely more interesting. It's ratcheted up the, uh, the excitement a little bit here. I have so much stuff. Well, why am I carrying a whip of draining? Who picked that up? Who auto-picked that up? Is there any other junk I accidentally picked up? That might be it. Well, yeah, level 10 Minotaur Fighter, level, or level 11 Minotaur Fighter, level 10 of the dungeon. Still don't, I mean, my Spectral War Axe is pretty cool, I must admit. I have, oh, just two scrolls of enchant weapon. Yeah, I still, I guess I still haven't decided if this is a, a weapon for me. But I don't know if I will find a better axe. I mean, it's one-handed, which is cool, because I can use a shield. The spectral thing is sweet. I should probably just enchant it. I mean, you find more of these enchant scrolls all the time, right? I mean, as soon as I say this, I'll go find something. As soon as I use them, I'll find something better, of course. But, I mean, I just found that Vorpal Axe, and that's not super better. It's not even much better, or any better, even not counting the spectral part. Oh, let's do it. Get some stuff out of my inventory, anyway. There we go. Plus three War Axe. Still says base damage 11, I think. 
That's what it said before. It's interesting though, of all this, you know, with all this stuff I got, I don't have clear escape stuff. Maybe that's how they set this up. Like, like in Angban, you would get all these, you, you could teleport, which happens instantly in Angban with a teleport scroll. You would, could uh, phase door, which is like just a slightly shorter teleport, tele, teleport, teleport, also instantaneous, instantaneous. Um, I still haven't used any potions of lignification to turn myself into a tree who can still fight in place apparently I'm out of the potions of cure wounds so that's a little worrisome I have a potion of invisibility I wonder if that would save my buns in a, if I was just getting hacked apart yeah you definitely have to worry more in this game because you don't get the easy get out of prison stuff I got out of a couple scrapes uh, with some difficulty. The Ring of Flight, of course, could help me, like, flee over uh, some deep water or lava or something, in theory. The plus five plate should be helping me. Throwing nets, I could, you know, entangle somebody and then run. It seems that it'll probably only hold them up for, like, three turns max. The Wand of Paralysis failed both times I tried it, even on a fairly low level thing. I, it was like a goblin or a, just some grunt. Didn't work. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if the Wand of Flame was any good. Uh, can I find a little monster? No, there's an eel, those are a pain. If I go up to the previous level, well, that goes down. Don't, don't, don't take that. Oops. <laughs> Those spells. Ah, it's a lot of spells and a lot of failure. Um, I guess I can't. I can't get auto explore just to find me a random monster. I guess it hasn't generated any new monsters here. I thought there might be a... something. Something that would have spawned in. There's this red staircase down. That just takes you to kind of weird places. Weird locations. No monsters, come on. Just give me somebody, somebody to cast a little puff of flame on. That's all I want, just a puff. No, you can't. Uh, I'm kind of surprised, really. Oh, oh, that was just smoke. I shouldn't run like that, of course. Man. This is quite, quite the maze-like little place. Huh. Gosh dang, well, so much for that idea. Now I can use a, uh, see, square bracket just to get back to level 10. So I can just navigate right back here with Auto Explorer, where am I at? I wanna just come in here. There you go. Pretty slick. I don't really like that trail. I think you can turn that off, actually. Um, 
All right, well, I still don't know about the scroll of flame, I guess. Wand of flame. Got a lot of charges. That probably is, suggests it's weak. All right, well, that's uh, that's going to do it. Uh, doing okay, I guess. I But I feel like I haven't really run into any super trouble and where I would have had a chance to really die. I, I had a... Those, uh, those mosquitoes will wear me down. And there was one other situation that was getting kind of a little, a little tight. Oh well, uh, I'm going to log out. Donk. How many people are playing games here? A through P. Oh, well, that's interesting. That one, there's one that says what level... Uh, Level 27, that's a max level. Max level, I don't know what HO creature is. it. On layer one, layer is where I got killed the other day. Max level on layer? No, no, he's somewhere else. He was probably just going back to someplace he'd been. I don't wanna, I don't wanna stay spectating somebody. But I wonder if this person is, uh, is using SSH because you see all those other games don't tell me that that info, uh, the, the character type and level and the, the location. So why would that one, unless maybe it is an SSH game, Airwolf, that's a pretty sweet care, uh, player handle. Oh yeah. And it must be because look, they've, they've modified their terminal window size. I said, I want to go in there really fast. Oh, yeah, they, they got it a little wider than the default. So in theory, I could send them a... <laughs> a... Uh, a message scroll with this SSH weird old messaging system and they would possibly get there to see their, buzz, their uh, pager go off. But they're moving so fast, they probably would. They're really trucking. Well, Airwolf looks like a pro. That's cool. Somebody, so I can tell who is playing by SSH, I guess, that way. That's cool. But either their modified terminal size, which they may not be running, but that uh, the character type certainly suggests that they're, they're running a different way, and it's almost certainly by SSH, I guess. I'll, mm, oh, well. One way to test that, of course, uh, if I just go back into my game and then I log in my secondary account, uh, load, go to session. Is it under session? No, no, no. Connection? Uh, there we go. No. Oh, no, I just do that. That's fine. I log in here. HXS for spectator. Not going to tell you my password. Watch games. No, see, it doesn't show a... So why does that... Hmm, I may have to try Googling this. Why does that guy's game show a location? Mine does show the... Uh, the different terminal size, like this guy's. But why doesn't it show a location? Am I just not in an interesting enough spot? That doesn't make sense, does it? Am I just not sending enough data? I have to Google this, but I have a feeling it's going to take more Googling than I can do on my phone, and I don't want to risk pulling up ads or something on my web browser that I'm recording on my screen here. So I have to do that between sessions. I would like to show that, that info for SSH spectators. I Maybe I could just ask Airwolf if I sent him a message. Go, well, I could, uh, I could go in by... By uh, web tiles. Oh, 
wonder if I can log in by web tiles and have that not disappear. I could use that for reference. Uh, here we go. I don't have a proper shortcut. Um, there's Airwolf. One spectator. I guess that's me. Uh, let's see if he'll notice if I ask him. Sorry for the dumb question. Is but. Yours is the one game that shows uh, character type and location in the game list on SSH. Is there a particular way to do that? Not doing anything, so either he's looking at his, uh, yeah, he's not noticing. I wonder if I sent him a scroll if he would see that. No, he wouldn't. He would scroll by way too fast. Anyway, it's a pain to talk back. You have to write a note. Uh, he's not looking at his message window. Actually, well, uh, if he's playing by SSH, duh, he's not going to see the chat window because there is no chat window. Can I copy and paste this? That might be too many characters. Ah, too many characters. Um, so if you look really fast, you may see a a uh, message saying his his buzzer what no uh beeper goes off or something you have a message but it's going to scroll by so fast your pager goes off did he notice does he know what that means i don't think he noticed or she He's got all kinds, they've got all kinds of important demon slaying to do. Look at that. Airwolf the bringer of law. Hill orc, huh? Well, I wish I knew. Uh, I, uh, I'll have to look this up after I stop recording. I'll be darned. Well, they're pro. They're doing pro stuff. I wish I knew how that happens. Hmm. 
All right, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Um, I, the next bonus episode I managed to fit in, I will be doing Infra Arcana, the HP Lovecraft themed roguelike. But after that, the next bonus one, we'll be back to work on this, uh, this, <coughs> well, yeah, yeah, this character I've been playing right here, whatever the heck. Um, and I'll try not to, uh, try to, try to get farther. So thanks for watching and good night.